All right. I think we're live. <coughs> All right. Clear my throat. We are ready. We are live. Let's get into this. y'all can hear me and it's okay it is okay because we got a great game coming up be live in just a couple seconds just a couple seconds Check, check. We're good. I think we're good. What's up, guys? We're live here to play another game with you. Uh, this one, this one might get a little steamy. Just warning you. It's going to get a little steamy in here because we will be playing not your average game today not your average game you could probably already see it in the title but five dates five dates is what we will be playing so without further ado let's uh let's just play five dates We're going to do a new game, and we're going to go on five dates today, so just get ready. This is like really hard to read, even on the big TV. So let's uh, select a profile picture. What do we want to go with, huh? What do we want here? We got, let's see. Uh, that one's pretty standard. That's pretty much like what I would have put in mind. See, these I hate. Profile pictures, especially on dating sites, which is where I met my girlfriend, Kirsten, was on a dating thing uh what was it tender so anyways this this right here like confuses me i hate when people have all their profile pictures are group photos and i'm like okay which one which one are you though like that sometimes that can make a big difference when you accurately see who it is right so i don't like these already off the bat group photos don't work with me yeah it shows you have friends it's also really confusing unless you mix it up with some of these other ones and you kind of got to dig and deduce okay well this person appears in all the photos so it's probably them uh let's see so you got the dog that usually plays well i'm gonna go with the dog photo And select an industry you work in. Uh, let's say, let's see, 
I think finance would attract, I don't know. I don't know if that would attract the right person. Creatives, good. Education, it's good. Uh, healthcare, hey. Is there more? Can I go back? Oh, I said other. Hmm. I don't think I can go back. Yeah. Oh, well. Select your interests. Travel, spirituality, arts and culture, technology, music, partying, charity, food and drink, fitness, sports. Uh... Like if I, I'll probably try to play this. Could play this as like a douchebag, which I might. But if I go like try to play it as myself, I feel like that's the best way to play this game. Hmm. Decisions. Decisions. Well, let's go with partying. Fuck it. And, oh, I gotta have other interests besides partying? Uh, this is pretty much like filling out a real dating profile. This is pretty insane. Uh, I like technology and arts and culture. There we go. Total lib. Total libtard here and proud of it. Let's see. Do my real one. You actually just woken up? Yeah, yeah. What's the issue, man? Well, nothing. I just never understood how you could sleep until lunchtime. Lunchtime? Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, furlough life has got my body clock battered, bro. Fair play for keeping a routine in lockdown, man. Fair play. Yeah, sort of. Anyway, you still living the life of Riley? Hey, not bad choice, but yeah. Honestly, I don't know how people get through the day without games consoles, you know. Okay, listen. Um, I've got some big news. Go on, then. I joined a dating app. No way. <laughs> hey, this is huge, bro. Listen, I was all alone in my flat. I was all alone in my flat with nothing else to do, and I just thought, why not? You know what? I'm hearing that digital dating is popping off during lockdown, you know? Have you got any video dates yet? No, I literally just joined. Okay, hey, Vin, hey, Vin, seriously, yeah? No joke. Your profile needs to be on point, yeah? And then when you're looking at these <laughs> girls' profiles, there's a few things you need to watch out for. You need to look at the angles that they're using to take the pictures and that, yeah? Because they're, they're gonna deceive you. Callum, I have I have talked to girls before. I do understand what you're doing. I have talked to girls before, okay. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, hold on. Just got a notification. Uh, no way. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's not our first radio oh, here. Oh, you sexy bastard, bro. It's not our first radio here. Yes. Yes. I've <laughs> got some matches. All right, man. Let me know how it goes, bro. Peace. All right, cool, man. Bye, bye, bye. Three video dates per week. Oh man. Okay, who are we gonna go with? I guess this site is pretty new because there's only like five people, five dates to choose from. I guess this is like Tinder when you live in like a very small town in the middle of nowhere. Uh, this is 
it's just like, okay, it's five people that I can find that aren't related to me. Let's see. Let's go down the line so I don't get out of, forget and get out of order. We'll just go with uh, Maya. Oh, three, and then we'll go with with uh, she seems a little too Republican. I don't know. She might not be. She very well might not be. She's a cancer. Uh, industry is other. She's probably doing like sex work, but she also just that hair and the makeup. You can kind of tell who just by their makeup. You can tell Republicans out. Not that it's a bad thing. I'm not saying like, hey, don't date Republicans if that's your thing. I'm just saying you can tell. Like, clear difference here. Well, I mean, aside from the pink, pink streak in her hair, she's definitely, definitely liberal. But she's also got spirituality, arts and culture, and charity. And, yeah, and she's a Virgo? No. No, no, no. But Grace, I mean, her, just her name right off the bat. I'm surprised she didn't put, like, just. Okay. And then we got healthcare, technology, food and drink, and charity. And then we got sport, fitness, travel. That's, like, all of my least favorite things. All of them. Why are there people like that? Why? Why must you do this? Uh, okay, so we'll go down the line. Grace and Saffron. Let's check it out. They might be cool people. I might be judging books by their cover here. I should probably clean up my place too. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Oh, this guy's looking pen, bro. Tasty. I've got three video dates scheduled back to back. Okay, show off. No, 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 not really. I've, I've never been on a digital date before. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, just treat it like a real life date, I guess. You know, people seem to be really enjoying them as well. Okay, and is this a good setup? I've got this right. Mm, you know what? I don't think you should have the bed in the back like that, man. Sends out the wrong message. Okay, I'm definitely moving into the mirror room. Okay. Oh, trying to look like a slut. Ugh. Ugh, Vinny. my intention. Vinny, we've spoken about this. It's, it's, it's just wrong, man. It's wrong. <laughs> now, you want to find a spot where the natural light is hitting your face, kind of like it's hitting mine and making me look so goddamn beautiful. And also, what you want is eye level. Set the camera to eye level, bro. Not low angle or high angle. They are not flattering. Okay, I think this is a good spot. Uh, let's get that fireplace looking. Eye level? Is that okay, what we need to do? Cool I really am so hurt. Oh, yeah. Okay, I've got like a trophy from when I was a kid. Ah, yeah. Show her that you're a winner. Yeah, and culture maybe <laughs> okay okay i think we're i think we're ready i'm pretty nervous i'm pretty nervous about this it is your call entirely mate the worst thing though is if you're drinking and the other person isn't i'm so nervous um uh shit um Mm, I'm, I'm gonna go with no sober. booze. I'm not going to drink. Brave man, brave man. Okay, I think... Um... You're set, man. Listen, you are going to smash this date, yeah? And you jump on all confident like, and you say her first name straight away. Straight away, straight in, smiling. Show them all your teeth. Okay. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Show no. them all the teeth. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I think the first one's about to start. Hey, go well, lad. Okay, all right, cool. Listen, I'll uh, I'll debrief you after. I'll let you know how it goes. Peace, boy. All right, peace. I'm gonna click on this. Okay, bye. Cool. Oh shit, man, this is nerve wracking.
All right, let's just do it. Hello! Hi! Sorry, I needed to pee! <laughs> Hi! No, I'm gonna get that. I can't argue with that then. That's fine. That's, that's what you need to do. Okay. Cheers. How are you, Vinny? I'm, I'm good, thank you very much. I, I think I can slightly detect an accent. Am I correct? You're so very that... observant. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where do you think I'm from? I've heard... I've actually heard a few footballers interviewed that sound a little bit like you. Um, yeah, footballers from my country are very good. Some of the best in the world, I will say, personally. <laughs> hmm. She seems like she is Spanish. That has to be a Spanish accent, surely. Muy bien! Very yes? Good, okay. yeah. <laughs> I'm very impressed. How do you know? I I'm so I'm cultured. Just, I don't know. Probably just a good ear for these kind of things. Yeah, just... come on. I know. It was a lucky guess. No, it was me. It was me. It was me. I don't know. Everyone can recognize a Spanish accent, right? I mean, it's awkward because I'm actually Portuguese. So. Oh, uh-huh. A lot of Siberians sound the same to you. I get that. No, no, no. Oh, my God. I'm... Sh Shit, sorry. I'm sorry. Never sorry, go with know. knowledge. I Girls heard, don't want you I to tell them quite like you, so I facts. <laughs> I'm, fucking you. I'm, fucking you. I'm Spanish. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm Spanish. I'm from Granada. Yeah. Oh my so god. You're actually Spanish. Are you no, telling the truth this I'm time or were you telling you. the truth last I'm time? Spanish. Vinny, you're I fucking this up. Everyone can understand, you know. I thought I knew. I was so. No, you did. Gosh, you did, you did. My heart. But it was a, you were a bit cocky, you know. I have to. So, um, how's lockdown been treating you? I know their lockdown question is so boring. Okay, no, no, we, we, we don't have to talk about it if you. If you I'm I kidding. Wanna... It's fine. Okay. I've been keeping really busy. I'm a language teaching assistant, so. Oh, wow, nice. Uh, what languages? Spanish, obviously. Yes, Spanish, and then Italian and French as well. So I've been doing online classes with my students, and then some private tuition, too. So it's my side hustle. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. That's pretty cool. Mm. The good thing about languages is no matter how hungover you are, you never forget them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fair, that's fair. And I, I noticed that um, there was some other interests in your profile. Yeah, which ones in particular? Um, okay, they all grabbed my attention immediately. I really liked <laughs> that you liked partying. Things about you, I would think. Sure. Just tell them partying. Exactly tell them partying, dude. <laughs> okay, okay, I got it. Look, what kind of parties are you into? Partying, right? I saw That's that. the one I saw you that. like. Okay. <laughs> um, well, uh, everything really. I have a lot of energy, so I go to like raves, I go to house parties, I go to festivals. Every weekend there's something. You know, Sundays for me are a struggle. <laughs> so wait, sorry, sorry. Every single weekend you're... Well, yeah. Wow. I mean, okay, you go hard. Yeah, I, after a night out, I get in at like 7 a.m. It's, it's, it's fun. It's like once I stayed up for two days straight and I was teaching the next day. And I was supposed to be teaching Spanish, but I kept speaking French. It was... Oh. Your poor students, they're probably out there speaking some weird hybrid language. Hybrid language? What is this? What hy hybrid? Hybrid language. Oh, okay. Sorry. Um, no. It's, so, so like a, a mixture. So, is it? I meant that your students will be out there speaking four oh. different five different languages in one. <laughs> is what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whoops. I mean, <laughs> no. You know, whatever. I mean, partying can be a problem for some. I mean, it was a problem for the last guy I dated. Oh really? But I don't know. Like, well, what do you think about like letting your girl have fun? In terms of, okay, what, so in terms of, like, just letting your partner go out and do their thing? Yeah, like, it's important, I think. I'm just wondering. Personally, I think that there has to be balance between having fun together and separately. Yeah, I agree. It's healthy, no? Yeah, and it's, it's, it's just all about trust, right? I mean, for both people. Yeah. And I think I'm learning more about, like, balance at this time now, so... But, and so you've been in the fast lane for every weekend, according to you. That's yeah. Lockdown was like a ah, it was like a screeching to a halt, you know. <laughs> sure, sure. 
<laughs> Sorry. I get a bit aggressive when I'm passionate about something. Passionate. What? Oh. Passionate. Vinny, dude. Passionate. Don't. Don't oh, fucking mansplain shit. shit. <laughs> Stop correcting your Vinny. You're twice. fucking this up for everybody. You can always correct me when my English is bad, please. I, just, yeah, I flip my camera around so it looks like I'm looking at them. How about that? Okay. Well, it's definitely not, is it? But I have a question for you, Vinny. Okay, go on. What is? Would you call yourself introverted or extroverted? I said that right, yeah? Oh, okay. Uh, this, this, this is a big question now. Bit of both? I think I love a drink. Oh. I'd have to say that it's probably a mix. I think I'm I'm happy being around people, and then I'm also happy being on my own. So, I don't know. I have to be able to do both in That's room. good. Yeah. I think that's really good. Yeah. I need to mix it up more. I'm always the crazy one with my friends. Are you? <laughs> Yeah. Oh my gosh. What's some craziness that's happened with like friends? Like what's a... Oh you don't wanna know. Oh, yeah, okay. Let's we'll say those two or three. Sure, we'll say those stories you'll... for another time, yeah? You'll find out. Okay, okay. You'll find So, how long have you been here, Maya? Like two years. I was I was traveling around Europe with my ex, and then we just got to London. We decided to settle here. So. Wow, that's a that's a big step. Well, we were together since we were teenagers, so we're still friends. We're very close. He lives near here. Oh, he does. Well, oh, was really? It, was it a recent breakup? You yeah, tell me about this. Yeah, um, about Should have led with this. I'm joking, it was like a year ago. Oh my gosh. <sighs> that's, that's quite she soon plays with the emotions it. too much. Yeah, well, you know, it's different when you're traveling. It's just like fun, and we got to London, it was like the real world, you know, it just was too much. It's too much for us. Yeah, yeah. And what, so, and have you been single since? Yes, I have. <laughs> um, but, you know, I'm hoping to find my London boy on the app. Oh, so, so you're into London guys, yeah? Maybe, maybe. Anyway, I just feel like London people need to smile more, right? It's like you get on the bus or the train and like everyone just looks miserable. <laughs> Trust me, it's the weather. Don't even talk to me about the weather in this country. <laughs> talk about something else. It's like, no. Okay. There's quite a lot I've been, I've been wondering about you actually, just hearing you talk about certain things. Really? Just... I'm mystifying you, okay? <laughs> Yes, somewhat. Ask me anything. Okay, uh, tell me a bit more about your life back in Granada. Do you, do you miss it at all? Of course, of course. The sun, for one thing. Um, my language, my the food, the coffee. The whole way of life is just more relaxed there. But, um... I actually got into a bit of trouble at home, so I needed to leave. <clears throat> oh, okay. Um, I'm so sorry to hear that, Ma. Yeah, it's okay. Um, I just had lots of stresses with like money and all the things. There aren't many opportunities in Granada, but dude, you know, she's really opening up. It was hard to leave my friends and my family. I imagine. To come to a foreign country on your own and, and, and make a good life for yourself. I couldn't do that. <laughs> yeah, you are fucking tough, man. Seriously. <laughs> Thank you, Amy. Right. That's very kind of you to say. No, it's impressive. Seriously. Sorry. Sorry, I got really intense there for a second. You must think I'm crazy. No, 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 no. No, 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 not at all. I did ask. <clears throat> Anyway. <laughs> okay. Um, Come on, Vinny. How's this online digital dating thing going for you? Have you enjoyed it? It's okay. I mean, I love going out and meeting people, but like, it's it's a good, it's a close second. 
That's a that must be pretty weird. I bet you're excited to just jump back weird. out and just get into the real world again. Yeah, kind of, but like I think it's actually been good for me to like weed out the bad ones. Sure. So when I do, it's like, you know. Nice, nice. I'm glad. Yeah. Oi Maya, I finally scored some weed. Oh, really? I managed to find the only dealer working through lockdown. Come on, let's light up. Okay, I'm coming. Hope it's going well with Tom. <laughs> um. Who, me, Tom? I'm a Tom. Um. Do you know what IG is cool? I think I've, I've, people have always said that I look like a Tom. Oh, trust me. You're much better looking than Tom. I am? Okay. Uh, thank you, <laughs> I think. No, no, well, who is Tom anyway? Is he like another? I In fact, know. you know what? He's, he's Forget Tom. He's, I don't want to know about right. Tom. He's exactly. whatever. Exactly. My flatmate's an idiot and he just doesn't know what he's talking about. Maya, I'm smoking this entire bag if you don't come now. I'm coming. I'm coming. She's gonna smoke the entire bag. Sorry. You gotta go. I do. Um. No, it's fine. I'm so sorry. I told him that if he got some weed that I would just smoke it with him straight away. No, it's no problem at all. We had, um, listen, we had a great chat this evening. Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, I think you're really cool, so. Yeah, I think <laughs> you're cool too. Um, okay, well, see you later. I'll see you later. Bye, Dang, so she's into drugs. I don't know about this, Vinny. It's pretty hard drugs. She was, her friend's gonna smoke a whole bag of weed. Hello, Vinny. Oh, uh, hi. I so I'm so sorry. You were not long, were you? No, not too long. So, Vinny, am I at your first digital date in this new normal we're living through? Put me under the spotlight already. That's a tough question to open up with. Um, it's hard. Just would think it would be like, yeah, no. Uh, no, uh, you're not. I'll be honest. Okay. Well, you can teach me the ropes then. Digital Casanova. Oh, listen, no, I, I got this. I think I'm getting the hang of it all and... Okay. I kind of left. Okay. <laughs> so, on your profile, it said your industry... Vinny's about to bang all five of these you do. dates. Yeah, I'm in corporate law. Um, wow, okay. A little bit shocked that they didn't have a litigation option. I'll, I'll send them some feedback. Sure. I'm a little bit extra like that. So, um... I mean, I presume you've been busy during lockdown. Yeah, apparently the world never stops needing legal advice. Um, I've just been made partner at my firm. So it's a whole new step up trying to make relationships with the clients and video calls are just no way to do it. You're a partner already. That's, that's pretty amazing considering you're only 27. Yeah, it's not very polite to remind a woman of her age. I, I'm so... Uh... I'm so sorry. I didn't mean it. it. was nothing about your age. It was more I'm just only, about that you're... I'm only coming here now. You are a little bit younger than what I would normally go for, though. Really? Hmm. I guess, why did you go for me, then? I just figured lockdown was a better time than ever to try something new. Well, listen, thank you for fitting something new into your schedule. Of course. Oh, sorry, can I take this? It, it won't take long. What is it? What is it, like a business call or something? Yeah, it's, it's work. I mean... I don't know how important it is, but... Okay. Oh, yeah, listen, be my guest, please. Yeah? It'll be two seconds. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hi, Grace here. No, 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 no. They can't get... They can't get cold feet about the merger now. No, no, I know, I know, but it's too late. Legally, they can't. Now, just... Just, just tell them to stop dilly-dallying, okay? And, and I'll get involved if they keep delaying, all right? Yeah. Okay, well, just ring me if there's anything else going on, okay? Okay. I want a date. Shh, shh. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. That's... Sorry about that. That's fine. Work. It's chaos. That's cool. <laughs> I'd really like to know how come you're single. Your guess is as good as mine. I'm going to fall back on that old cliche that I haven't met the right person yet. What about you? No, uh, listen. Cliches are often true. Right? I'm a big defender of cliches. Anyway, stop avoiding the question. Okay. <laughs> Tell me the answer. What's your relationship history? Okay. We can be honest. 
How do I know what the honest yeah, answer is? I'm not Vinny. I've been single for a while. Okay, if I'm honest, I haven't actually been in anything meaningful for a long time. Interesting. So, are you looking for something meaningful on here? What What exactly are you looking for? Oh, that's a big question. That is a big question. It's a big question. It's an important question. No, oh, I know. Relationship. I'm always hoping that the other person is on the same page, but I'm 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 looking to be in a relationship. Yeah. I mean, these days I'm pretty set on that, and when I meet the right woman, yeah, I'm just programmed that way, I guess. Okay, I'm the same. I just don't bother wasting my time on things I'm not serious about. Okay, good. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad that we can we're on the, the same, same page. Story. Yeah, 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 completely. Okay. So, Vinny, sorry, my schedule is just a little bit crazy at the moment, and um. I kind of need to go soon. Oh. Is there anything else you fancy asking me? Oh, that's such a shame. Um, okay. You've got my full attention, though, for a few more minutes to think wisely. Okay. Any burning questions? Maybe just tell me a bit more about your upbringing and how you got to be such a high achiever. Oh, don't flatter me. <laughs> um, there's nothing to tell, really. I was really lucky to go to a good school, girls' school. Nice. Got really good grades, did ballet. Did lacrosse in my county. I still keep those up casually. That's pretty impressive, actually, isn't it? Thank you. Um, I just have the most amazing family. My parents are just so brilliant in their own ways. They're my idols, really, and they just have this amazingly strong love. Hey, listen, it sounds like they really got it down. They are amazing. Um, what about you? Are you, are you close to your family? Oh, uh, in simple terms. Yeah, simple is always best, I think, just be honest. I really, really am. You are? I just have so much to thank them for, just for, I don't know, making me the man that I am today and the man that I'm still becoming. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, no, no, no. Family is really, really important to me. Yeah, I agree. I couldn't agree more. Well, I'm going to go now. Sorry if I was a bit outspoken. That's just me. No, it's, it's cool. It's just, I really know who I am and what I want and I just don't want to waste my time, you know? I understand. It's, it's better to, you know, get that stuff out in the open. So, you know, being honest is always the best. Wouldn't be anything else. This felt really good. You're a good egg, Vinny. Yeah, you're not too bad yourself, Grace. You're charming. Have a good evening. You too. Oh, shoot. So this game will train you, like, what to say in every situation. Whether you're a dating, a high achieving businesswoman, or this burnout that we're about to go on a date with, let's see if she even answers. Yeah. Do you mind if I just... Just doing yoga. One, I'll be really quick. No, please, please, go ahead. Thank you. Sorry. Taking a bong rip back there. Oh, you want me to do? Just going to light some incense for yours. Yeah, incense. She just chiefed. Don't believe her, Vinny. I'm with you. I think it's pretty uh it's pretty cool that you're keeping active during lockdown. Oh my gosh, it's like the only way I could keep my equilibrium. <laughs> Have you been like keeping active or doing any exercise during lockdown at all? Like what? Just walking or <laughs> <laughs> anything, any kind of exercise, just keeping active. Keeping limber. Yeah, actually, uh, I have. I've been going on runs, um, like running, uh, and I just started. <laughs> I don't know if I did that. I just started hitting five k. 
Um, just any excuse to get outside, really. So. Well, how have the five Ks been coming along? Am I enjoying them or am I getting faster? <laughs> well, are you happy with your times? Am I happy with my times? <laughs> oh, my times are abysmal. I'm close to <laughs> what thirty minutes a pop, but it's the effort that counts, right? Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, I just hope that everyone stays like all outdoorsy when it all goes back to normal. I feel like it'd be so sad if we became all like interior again. Do you know what I mean? No, no, I know exactly what you mean. I completely agree. I completely agree. Yeah. Well, listen. Thank you for breaking the ice, Saffron. It's my specialty. So, I have an ask. What is it that you do for a living that when you're not breaking the ice? Um, I'm a project manager for an animal welfare charity. Oh my goodness, that's really cool. I'm back. Of course, she is. For about ten years. Do you mind if I ask what you eat? No, no, not at all. It's it's a very important detail right now. <laughs> in pretty much every relationship in life. <laughs> You might not like it. You're a monster, you know that. Are you serious? No, I'm kidding. It's <laughs> <sighs> totally fine, I don't God. mind if you're a monster. <laughs> so you don't have a problem with meat eaters then, yeah? Nah, not really. I mean, so long as the people around me don't eat it in front of me, just out of respect, um, yeah, I'm alright with it. I don't think that's too much to ask, really, is it? Uh... That would be tough for me. Oh, really? Well, it just kind of means that I can't be myself, and I don't think that that's healthy, really. Well, it's a good thing we didn't start off with a dinner date. <laughs> Shit got awkward real quick. Um, I'm on this app to find like like-minded people or or at least someone open-minded enough to sort of embrace my wavelength um you think you are why do you ask well i just think it's a bit pointless to proceed if like you aren't um we'll just be like clashing the whole time and i'm not really down for that i understand that and... yeah um I think we might be miles apart. Okay, cool. Um, well, it was lovely to meet you anyway, and have a good rest of lockdown. Dang, Vinny, you blew that <laughs> one. You too. Have a good lockdown. The first two, though, DTF, this one, not this one's. That was going to be tough. You're going to have to date her again with a different hat on. Maybe get some gauges. And then probably finish off your beard Whoa. there. Grow that awesome. out. Hey, mate, I've been on tental hooks for this debrief, man. You were just waiting in bed for me to call you, weren't you? Bro, Start doing some yoga. Details, details. So there was Maya. And, uh, man, she was a real live wire from Spain. From Spain? Oh, oh. Hey, you got to love the mamacitas. <laughs> How'd it go? How'd it go? Do you know what? Uh-huh. It was great. She seemed really cool, and I think she's into me. That's my boy. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> well done, boy. <laughs> I can't stop smiling. Um, uh, we need to do some more digging on her, man. Surname? Oh, I don't know. Give me something to work with, man. Uh, well, She's Spanish, obviously. Uh, she's uh -huh. a language teacher in French and Italian. Does that help? Boom! Got her. You got Online her. language tuition database. Maya Orantes from Granada. Oh! -ho! Okay. Yes. Uh, hold on. Let me let me see if this is her. Yeah. Oh, uh, this is her. This is her. This is her. Oh, ho -ho! Oh, I'm a genius. <laughs> yeah. So we just stalked Maya, as one does. Let's oh, we can get we can stalk Maya's profile, see more pictures and stuff. Live for the night. Always in my heart. Cake.
See what you needed to see? Yeah, man. All right. Yeah, that's all I wanted to look at. Was a few more pictures of her. So, Grace, uh, yeah, she was really high achieving okay. and very intense. But I don't know. I kind of enjoyed that. Ooh. Sounds pretty good. How'd you fare? Yeah, listen, I could tell she likes me, man. Oh. That's what I'm talking about. The boy is out of the traps. I'm I don't happy. have I'm happy. any I'm bros like uh, A it couple, good. maybe, but no one talks like good. this. I think it went really well. So. Yes, man, of course it did. You're a catch. You're a catch. You're the catch. <sighs> I'm going to get some more info. Surname? Uh, no, don't remember. Anything? She was just made partner at a big law firm. What's she doing talking to you? <laughs> I think I got her. Grace Huckle Renford. But, oh, she's only listed as an associate at her law firm. Huckle Renford, yeah, okay, let me take a look. Hold on. Yeah, let's stuck. Grace this Huckle is her. Renford. This is her. Yeah, this is her. Yeah? <laughs> this is her. Yeah, no, no, I'm not lying. This is her. All right, all right, all right, cool. Oh, there's other stuff maybe we can look at. No? Can we not look at, like, the other things? You get the lowdown on Grace? Uh, I think so. I think so. Nice. So, Saffron. Yeah. Um, Got more of it. Like, you got to look at what they're posting about. She had this super cool hipster vibe. Okay. And... Uh, do you know what, Callum? I don't know. I think that we were just on different page. We we were on different planets, if I'm honest. Happens to the best of us. Yeah, I don't know. It just wasn't working. I'd... It was tough. It was tough. It's okay, bro. Well, just remember, mate, you've now got to tell the app which two girls that you like so you can ask them out on the second date. Do I? Oh, why does it work like that? I don't know. To stop girls getting strung along and catching feelings... I don't know. I didn't make the app. Just, just answer. I need to think on it. Um, but listen, thank you for your help. And I'm going to get some sleep and I'll catch you tomorrow. Yeah? No problem, bro. Have a good one, yeah? See you later. Good night. I think we can work it out, Saffron. All right. Send two invitations for a second date. Hmm. Hmm. Like Maya seemed cool. So this one's going to be working all the time. And she's also going to be like not interested probably in anything but what she's into. This one doesn't eat meat. Hmm. But we could like why can't I why can't we all three dates? What's going on? You gonna make me choose? Well I didn't think Saffron would have accepted it anyways. She's gonna follow the money. Oh, there he is, wide awake. <laughs> hey, you're like my mum now, man. What's the crap? Uh, I have a second date with Maya tonight. My boy. Um, uh, game day, right? Yeah. Yeah, she's chosen to play Truth or Dare. Hey, why you? You are onto a winner here, bro. You're gonna get busy with it. Do you know what? Listen, I'm not gonna lie. I am a little bit nervous. <sighs> Bro, this is the exact reason why. Just have a little taste, yeah? Dutch courage, mate. Do it, man. Well, listen, the fridge is fully stocked and the sun's out, and I thought I'd really fancy a nice crisp lager, so I'm gonna do it. <laughs> you remember the last time we played Truth or Dare? No, 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 I have blocked it out completely. <laughs> Oh, somebody's still a sore loser. Listen, I didn't want to win that particular game anyway. Nah, uh, mate, W's are W's, yeah? Whatever. 
anyway, there's potential. Have you heard anything else from her since the first date? You know, I have actually. She sent me one of those video messages over the app. Let me see. Was it noise? A no, video no, message. I can't. It may be a little cheeky, actually. Ah. Oh. Come on. Now you got to show me, man. Hey. Yeah, I'm going to show him. Hey, Vini. I'm finally in the sunshine, and I'm loving it. But I'm thinking about our next date. I can't wait to see you. See you soon. She's smoking that killer. You right there, bud? <laughs> she seems... Bubbly. She is. She's pretty unique, actually. Uh, keep me updated, lad. Yeah? Yeah, I will. All right, cool, man. I'll catch you later. Cool, bro. Have fun. Bye. Hey, hey. Hey, Vinny. <laughs> hey, shit. I'm sorry. I'm the one who was late this time. No, no, it's okay. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. It's okay. I, I wanted to show you that I, I can be reliable. Oh, that's okay. That's nice. But you won't, you won't wait long, right? You, you Only like an hour or two. It's fine. It's fine. But I'm glad you waited for an hour. <laughs> Just a couple seconds. It's nice to see you. So, how have you been? Um, I'm good. Uh, just been keeping busy. A uh, routine has been a blessing in disguise through this whole thing. So, how about you? Yeah, same here. To be honest, um, I'm getting used to being stuck indoors. To be honest. <laughs> Hard to keep a free spirit trapped too long, right? Mm hmm I'm still getting out as much as possible though. Nice. By the way, I'm I'm not drinking alone, am I? I got you. I'm there. Yay. <laughs> yes. Um I always need to uh, loosen up a little bit before truth or dare, so this is needed. Right, exactly. Let's get this party going. Okay, cheers. Let's do this. Cheers. Cheers. All right. Cheers. Okay, uh how come you chose truth or dare? I like how unpredictable it is, you know? It's like, you really get to know a person and their limits with it. Limits? Okay, now I'm worried. Not like that, you know, like just their boundaries. Boundaries, okay, yeah, still worried, still worried. No, you know what I mean. <laughs> it's not like, it's like people really show their true selves and their face with like a deep truth or really tough there. It's okay, no, no, I get you. All right, let's get stuck in. Let's do this, I'm ready. Okay, all right then. Um, oh, it's gonna go first. Oh, What's it gonna be? Damn it! Uh, the big question. Truth or dare? Dare. Um, okay. Dare. Yes! Okay, now I need to pick a dare for you. Okay. What is it? Vinny needs to get up and twerk. Excuse me? Get up and work. Oh, you're joking. No, I don't. You do. Oh, my gosh. On this Guess video, we're twerking. Right now. right now. Oh, God, you're cruel. Okay, give me some background music to dance to then. Come on. Okay, all right. I'm not going to do it just empty. All right, it's coming. There. Okay, this is good. Mm -hmm. Get your dollar bills out, yeah? Get ready to... Yeah, no, I get it right here, baby. <laughs> We're probably getting so many views right now just because Vinny is twerking. This is what you do in lockdown. This game came out in 2020, height of the pandemic, the beginning of it all. Is it sexy, yeah? That's coming to a music video near you, trust me. I'm gonna be. But in, in, in those ones, I'll, I won't have any clothes on. I'll be in like a G-string. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, can't even, I can't even. I My excitement, I can't contain it. It's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see what you got for me. Okay. Uh, truth or dare? What's it going to be? Dare. Straight in there. Okay. I like it. <laughs> I'm up for it. All right, cool. Let's see what we've got. Okay. On What's in your purse? Maybe challenge you a little bit as well. Hmm. Let's see if it'll even do I that. Must remove four items of clothing. She's gonna take off like hair that did things. Not take long, did it? <laughs> I mean, you were talking big, not me. I wasn't the one trash talking. Okay. 
Oh, come on. You're oh, right. shoot. Three, we unlocked the foot fetish no, zone. No, four. That, that doesn't count. It's four items of clothing, and that was the game. I'm sorry, that doesn't. You found a loophole in the game. Oh, yeah, whatever. Nice try, okay? You cheated, though, to be fair. Like, I would, yeah. It's not cheating. What do you want me to do, right? Like, get naked right here, right now? Fair enough. No, you did it. Whatever. I guess it's my turn again. Okay. Through there. Okay, I think I'm gonna go for truth. 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 <laughs> I'll go for truth. Okay. Yep. All right, let's go. Um. Oh. Okay. Do you have any fetishes? You really aren't pulling any punches here, are you? Don't blame me. Blame the app. I'm not choosing the question. I'm not complaining, no. <laughs> Uh, Let's give Vinny a foot fetish. She just took her shoes off, so oh, okay. uh, that works. I'm a feet guy. No way! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've just. <laughs> How turned on are you right now? So like, where's it going? Um, no, I've just always been drawn to them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Can details, please? Nice, delicate feet have a certain femininity about them. Oh gosh, that sounds so weird when I say that, doesn't it? No, no. I mean, I'm not into it personally, but I mean, the way you describe it, it, ma it makes sense, I guess. <laughs> yep, I'm into feet. What can I say? That's something that I like. You're into feet. You're a feet guy. That's it. That's it. Yeah. That's Good for yes, you. Thank you. Here's to feet. <laughs> okay. Um, anyway, back to you, Maya. Truth or dare? Truth, I guess. Truth, so truth. Some variety, right? Okay, all right. Uh, it says Maya. Yes. What do you think of Vinny? Be nice. Be honest. Um. Okay. Try not to get a big head. No, I shan't. But. I think there's a lot that's really cool about you. You know, you're confident and you're quite funny. No. Oh, it's shut up. Most of all, like, you know, you seem to respect me. That's the most important thing. Definitely, I do. Um, and you seem pretty cool too, so. Thank you. <laughs> I seem to respect you. Vinny just asked so you to right, remove four pieces of clothing. Or we can stop and chat if that works. I don't mind. It's up to you. Come on. Every t you must have something in mind. Every time someone says I don't mind, you, you must know. Seriously, it's cool. I don't mind. Whatever you want. Okay. Um. Why don't we? Okay, go on. I love the game, but let's have a chat. Let's continue talking. Okay. Oh, I was talking to my flatmate about you. You were. Okay. Oh, good things. I hope. Yeah, I well, I show him your profile and he was surprised because you're not really my usual type. Okay, and and what's that? <laughs> I don't know, but um, it's it's just not you. <laughs> I mean, do you have a type? Um, as in like f people I'm like physically attracted to. Anything like physically or like emotionally or like uh like you know compatibility kind of thing like whatever. Gosh, I'm thinking about it now, and I probably have to go something like dark haired, a big personality, um, lovely eyes, preferably from mainland Europe. That's always. Oh, nice. whatever. I get it. I get it. Okay, you're describing me. Was I? Yes. No. I didn't think really didn't even notice. Smooth, Vinny. It's like the easiest thing to do is just describe the girl you're talking to. Come on. We're better than that. You are one of my types. Uh, I don't know. I thought that was pretty clever. Fair enough. Maybe that was a bad way of saying that. But... When I was younger, I used to go for guys based totally on physical attraction alone, you know? But we all go through that phase, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was the whole thing with my ex. I, I liked him so much, he literally convinced me to leave Spain when I needed to. 
What's up? No, I'm just thinking about what you said. What about it? You're making me nervous. <laughs> so, why did you need to? Why did you need to leave Spain? Um. Hmm. Well, it's complicated, but um. Eventually, my parents kicked me out of my house. Shit. Yeah, I mean, I was getting into a lot of trouble at the time. Like, I was um, getting into, like, vandalism and pickpocketing, really shitty, shitty things. But I just, I got in with the wrong people, you know? Yeah. And I'm a Libra, right? I'm really easily influenced. Hey, I'm a Libra. I'm sorry to hear that, Mark. It sucks. It's okay. You know, it's a low point for me, but my ex picked me out of it, and I'll always have him to thank for that. Um, anyway, it, it was great to see you again, Mark. Yeah, you too. Even after meeting with you twice, I don't know, I just feel like I could really grow as someone like you. Good job. That... <laughs> that means a lot to hear, yeah. Um, and you are honestly one of the most unique people I've ever met. In a good way, or...? <laughs> oh, 100% in a good way, definitely. <laughs> Listen, I I won't keep you. I'll let you go. Okay. Well, uh, I'll be thinking of you. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye, bye. So, how are you feeling about my? I have to say, overall, I really enjoyed our two dates, man. Ah, uh, hey, you know what? That makes me happy to hear that, bro. Like, I'm buzzing for you, man. She seems so full of life. And and, and, and and the thing is, I think I could keep up with her. She's fast, and she knows what she wants, but... Uh, and I'm sure she would teach your bland, vanilla ass a couple of things as well, bruv, innit? <laughs> why, why, why do you always have to say such a nasty thing? You need to learn some stuff, man. Get some flavour in your life. I'm such a nice... People say I'm such a, a nice person, and here you are... Just... Nobody says that. All right, bro. Just sleep on it, and then make the best call for you bro bro I appreciate it as always you know sometimes I think where would you be without me but you know what you think about that whilst you're sleeping yeah sleep easy Vin I'd probably be really rich um, I said sleep in... easy Vin go to bed Vin have a good night bro <laughs> man okay there's been a lot of dating I think we're gonna have to take a break for a second and then we'll get back to this date. But I just wanted to highlight some things. Yes, yeah, so in 2020, you got the pandemic starting and every lockdown starting and uh, all this stuff to keep in mind with this when this game came out. And just like Animal Crossing came just like right at the right time, you know, for everyone to be locked down and, and to give them something to feel like they were productive and play a fun engaging game like that that's a daily thing you got to check on that was perfect timing when it came out and it sold a lot and it introduced a lot of new people to the genre to that game um this though this was the big success of 2020 this game five dates like blue animal crossing out of no i can't even say that without with a straight face um but yeah this game came out I don't think anyone asked for it, but they gave it to us, and it takes up a lot of uh, hard drive space because it's got a lot of videos and stuff in it, so keep that in mind, but it's got a lot of different options. Like, I've, I've played it once before when we first got it as a joke, we just thought it was silly, and I did not get any of these options, Like or like, the path I took and the questions I was answering this is a completely different turn turn of events than it happened last time. Last time we hit it off with saffron, but I think we were lying about our dietary stuff, which I'm sure people do these days. But um, yeah, this one we did a lot better with the first one. Last time she was like, "Oh, too partying," and I don't know. It was pretty cool. Like she, but that there are very different pathways you can take so we could play this game all day and keep coming up with different options and different outcomes and things like that 
which we might just do. So if y'all are ready to see way more dates, because we are only have dated, we've been on three dates, one not successful, getting two second dates coming in, and then we got two other people we haven't even met yet. So, But we're going to do five of these dates. Right now, I'm going to take a break. And then we will be back to, we're not going to leave, um, who is this, Grace? We're not going to leave Grace hanging here too long. So just, just you wait. We'll be back.
All right, we're back. We are back. We don't want to keep Grace waiting any longer, so we're going to get right into this date. Uh, we're going to be playing Never Have I Ever, and I'm a little nervous, but, you know, after riding the confidence high of the date with Maya here, so let's, let's, uh, let's get into this. Whoa! You're up! And having lunch already, yeah? Behave. This is breakfast. What's good? I got a second date with Grace this evening. Ah, you got your A-game ready? Yeah, listen, trust me, I need it with a woman like that. <laughs> Never have I ever. That is a drinking Y'all hear yeah? my neighbor's Mentally car? The it's ridiculous. Ready. Not that you'd have much to drink to on the count of you never having done anything ever. Very funny. <laughs> ha ha ha. <laughs> Actually, I'm on the Vino tonight. Ah, a bit more sophisticated for Grace, yeah? Huh? Actually, it's, it's a Sauvignon Blanc, to be precise. Ooh, la la, oui, oui, ça va. <laughs> Are you going to take the piss every time I call you? Yes. I'm nervous. Bro, stop it, man. <laughs> Any word from your girl Grace since the first date? She actually sent me a little voice note over the app. Let's hear it. Oh, I don't know, man. Uh, don't know, man. Come on, man. Oh, why do you put me in these predicaments, Callum? Uh... How long has it been? Come on, man. All right, cool. I'm showing it to you now. Hello, hello. Hope you're doing wonderfully. Just thought I'd check in to say I'm very excited for our game date later. I'm expecting some raw, shocking truths about you, mister. Um, I hope you're enjoying this lovely weather. I've laid on the sunscreen and started working outside. See you soon. <laughs> Ciao. Mmm. She can talk. Yeah, but she, she's she got a lot of cool stuff to say. It's great. Of course, man. It's better that than the opposite, bro. You know what? Drop me a line after, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Ciao. <laughs> Adjust the volume around a little bit. Oi, oi, there you are. Hey, good to see you again. How are you? Yeah, good, thanks. Uh, I apologise for the change of scenery. My flatmate's having a video date in the living room, so... Oh, OK, so so I've been downgraded, yeah? Unfortunately, yes, but it was her first date, so I just... I felt like she had priority. I, I look after my girls like that. Oh, do you know, I, I didn't know you had a housemate. Yeah, she's a, she's a really nice girl, but she's a little reserved, and my outspoken personality can be a, a little much for her at times. Yeah, I can understand. I don't think everyone has what it takes to handle you, so... Yeah, I can be a little bit much when I'm stressed and moaning about work, but hey, I chose this life, so I can't complain. Mm -hmm. What about you? How's uh, how's work been? Not bad. Um, I've just been cracking on and counting down the hours. Never have I ever. So. <laughs> uh, of course you have. Of course. Shall we get started? Yeah, I'm nervous. Don't be too nervous. OK, forfeits. Should we just down our drinks whenever we have to? Yes. Let's do this. I'll pick one for you first. Okay, go read it out. Okay. Never have I ever experimented with my sexual orientation. Bloody hell. Oh, why beat around the bush? So, come on. These things don't play around. Um... We need the juicy gossip. Okay, bottoms up. <sighs> wow. Okay. Full of surprises, you. Please elaborate. Oh, my goodness. Oh. <laughs> well, without getting into too much detail, <laughs> it's not really necessary, but <laughs> <laughs> I've tried stuff, because how do you know what you're really into otherwise? OK. So would you say your sexuality is fluid, then? Possibly. I can definitely say that right now I'm 
more into women, but... We're just trying to make Vinny a freak here. Okay, well, thanks for being so honest there. Yeah, it's cool. I feel like I've learned Got a lot about Vinny and feet quickly. and guys. Yeah, I feel like I've said a lot. Just in that alone. I'm just getting some wine, Vinny. Okay, let's see what we have here. I'm nervous. What do you... Pick something nice. Tables have turned a bit. Okay, um... A nice one. I'm the lady. Please. Uh, I picked a bad one. Okay, this one's always interesting. Never have I ever done drugs. No, not my style. Never tried. No, alcohol is enough of a vice for me, to be honest. And uh, I smoked a little bit at uni, but yeah, that's about as far as it went. Just smoke cigarettes or? Yeah, a few ciggies here and there, but that is about as wild as it's been for me. Wild. Okay, nice. Okay, it's my turn again. Let me choose you a good question. Okay, tell the computer to be nice, yeah? No. Uh, <sighs> never have I ever fancied a friend's partner. Uh, I have to think about that, actually. Yeah, think very carefully, I would, before, I, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, gosh, this is just not good. Do you know what? I can't say it's ever happened. Could it? What, could I fancy a friend's partner? Oh. Well... Never say never. You can never say never. So, I, I... You can't write anything off because attraction isn't a choice, after all. Well, in my view, it is. And I'd expect the same loyalty from anyone I was with. Well, think hypothetically. If my friend fancied you, or you fancied my friend, I'd be so upset. Okay, message received. I don't agree. But... Okay, good. Let's just leave it at message received. Let's not go beyond that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Vinny, chill out. I think we just wrecked this whole thing okay, with that one turn. question. All right. Let's, okay. let's see what I've got for you. Okay, I'm going to go for... Go really tame. On Never there. have I ever met someone famous. Okay. Oh, you have. Do you know what? I've never met anyone famous. I guess I'm just I'm probably hanging around in the wrong circles. You're not missing out on much, honestly. Um, no. I dated a few uh, famous people, I guess you could say. Really? Mm -hmm. They aren't all that big egos and they hate being put in their place, which, as you know, I'm not afraid to do. No, I can tell. Um, mm -hmm. How famous are we talking? Um, you definitely know about them. So, who are they? Names or...? Um, no, I'd rather not, if that's okay. Oh, come on. I'm not going to tell anyone. No, it's good. Don't worry about it. It's all good. <laughs> so, I think it's your go next. Okay, never have I ever said I love you and not meant it. Oh. Well, what are you going to say? I've never done that, honestly. Never. Okay, that's good. They're the three most important words in the human language, right? They're, they're pretty hefty. Aren't they? Big pause here. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just too important of a statement to make falsely. And it's just so not fair on the other person for you to just throw those words out there. And then to not mean it. They're huge. They have gravity. They definitely do. I'm glad you're agreeing with me on this one. I think we've done all right there. Should we call it a day? <coughs> yeah, it didn't really take off, did it? I think I'm more boring than I thought. No, you're not. Possibly. I'm definitely too sober anyway. Yeah, completely sober over here. So, how did the birthday party go the other day? Oh, it was really good. Thanks for remembering and asking. Yeah, it was so nice to see everyone. I forgot how much I missed the girls. And big question, did the birthday girl appreciate it? Yeah, she cried. Bless her. It set us all off. I just think there was a lot of alcohol involved and, you know, we were all feeling very emotional. But yeah, it was fun. Oh, listen, I'm glad to hear it. So, I've got a question. Go for it. What do you think of this whole digital dating thing? See, for me, I just think it's easier and I way prefer it. Okay, how so? I don't know, like first dates, for example, you get to check out the other person without wasting your time and money. Yeah. 
Video dates eliminate false advertising. I think I should trademark that. And you're in the comfort of your own home, which is great. So do you think it's possible to keep up the sexual tension and chemistry if you haven't seen each other for weeks or maybe even months? Oh, that's hard to tell. Uh... Mm -hmm. Is it? Well, I mean, the answer is no, because, I mean, not really. I think it, it only gets so far when you're talking digitally. How so? It just gets to the point where the tension peaks and you either need to meet each other or it, it just fizzles out, and then you're just left with a pen pal. Yeah, it's sad, but I actually understand what you're saying. So... Shh. Oh, my flatmate's just finished a date. I better go and debrief. OK, totally. Half the fun is debriefing anyway. So. Very true. Well, listen, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm glad I got to see you again. Yeah, I really enjoyed myself. Thanks for uh, playing the game and humouring my opinions, as usual. Listen, it was, uh, yeah, it was my pleasure. I better go. Speak to you soon. I'll speak to you soon. Bye. I think that went well. So, how are you feeling about Grace? Okay, overall, it was great. And she's intense and she speaks her mind, but I kind of, I just love that about her. Uh, hey, uh, hey, that's good, but it's not like she's a straight shooter. No bullshit, bro. Yeah, oh, no, 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 it yeah. feels that way. It felt, uh, it feels good. It feels so good. Well, I don't doubt, I don't doubt she feels the same way, mate. You're a catch. You <laughs> gas me up, man. No doubt it's made you soft. You are, Callum, do you actually want to date me? Oh my God, we're talking about a date that you went on and now you're propositioning me. Is this what, is this what it feels like to be sexy? Now you're propositioning me. <laughs> anyway, man, get some rest, you know, get some Zs. Thank you for the support as always. Um, and I appreciate it a lot. Yeah, I mean, like, what else is there to do? I mean, living vicariously through you is the most fun thing about lockdown. Come on, you love hearing about this. You I love all this gossip stuff that I talk to you about. I, I love it. This is good. This is what makes me live. It's great. <laughs> thank you. I right, listen. I'm going to make a move because I'm knackered. But um, no, seriously, thank you because I appreciate it. Uh, man, no problem, man. Right, love, cool. bro. I'll catch you later. Good night. Cool. Send one invitation for a third date. Hmm. Dinner date. It's the big dinner tonight, boy. Hey, what's on the menu, man? Uh, well, listen, I've got it all planned out, but I'm not sure what Maya's doing there. What, you guys aren't coordinating? Oh, well, sort of. She said we should, I don't know, surprise each other, so we'll see. Okay, true to form, I guess. So, what are you making over there? Okay, so I've decided to go with a paella because I'm hoping she'll dig the idea that I'm embracing the whole Spanish cuisine and everything, so. Yeah, uh, so obviously, like, date three is something. No, it's nothing, man. What? Bro, if this was an in-person date, the third date, you'd have to make things escalate by now, bro. OK, but well, that's off the table, because obviously we're not in person. There's got to be a way to do it, man. Listen, I'll play it by ear, <coughs> vibe, see what happens. Go well, lad. Yeah, do well. Okay, listen, cool. Um, I'm gonna go, but we'll debrief later, yeah? Yeah, give us a bell, innit? But, uh... The third I date rule. <laughs> Why? What are you... What are you laughing? Why? What's oh, going on? Your boy has only gone and got himself a little video date tonight, haven't I? No! Yeah. Are you serious? <laughs> well, who? When? When? How? What? Whoa, whoa, what? whoa, 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 whoa. Chill, chill, bro. You know I don't like to, you know, talk about these things. 
Ah, uh, listen, I'm not going to pry. I won't ask any more questions. Yeah, man, stop getting all of my business, man. Uh, why don't you call me this time over debrief? Ah, uh, cool, bro. Have a good one, yeah? Uh, listen, I'm going to dash. But good luck. You're going to smash it. I know you will. You too, bro. You too. Ah, uh, bye, bye, bye. Mm -hmm. Hey. I'm so sorry, huh? Lainess is such a bad habit. No, no, listen. No, you're good. I wasn't going anywhere. Uh, oh, and I have a surprise for you. I hope you like. Oh my god, it's Paella. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? You did a really bad job. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh my gosh. It's a really sweet attempt, though. Yeah, what have you got anyway? I'm sure it's just nice, man. Um. It's a microwave jar, mate. It's a, mi <laughs> it's a microwave. It's, I'm, okay, I'm quite surprised, if I'm honest. It's not good? No, no, no. Oh my God, it's great. Like, I love a chow mein. I'm, now, I'm, I should have gone for a chow mein. I don't know why I'm sitting here with what looks like okay raw paella. I'm sure um, it's not too bad. So it seems wrong, Ma. You you okay? Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. Um. Let's just talk about something else, okay? But. Oh. Really? Ma, you 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 can talk to me, you know. Um, I don't I don't give as good a, like advice as my friend Callum, but I'm happy to be an ear for you if everything. It's fine. Things aren't okay. You can. Why don't people just use their brains? I don't want to talk about it. Okay, can you listen? Okay, okay. Let's just eat, well. okay? Sure, sure, sure. Thanks very much, Vinny. Eating dinner over the internet. It's so weird, right? I mean, you wouldn't want to eat my paella anyway, so... <laughs> when lockdown is over, I'll take you to the best one in London. Yeah, this is very dry. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Uh, but that would be a great way to graduate digital dating, for sure. Yeah, but it's not been too bad, you know. We've gotten to, like, check out each other's personalities first. You don't always get that. Agreed. Agreed. And each date left me wanting more, which is always a great sign. Do you think you would um, continue to do video dating? What, like when things return to normal? Yeah. I mean, what even is real dating anymore? I don't even know. I know it's hard to even imagine that life, right? But, like... <laughs> I think I will, you know. Um, it's been a good step before meeting someone. I've enjoyed that. It's like a vibe check. Yes, exactly, exactly that. So that means that um, you'll be seeing other girls. We're at this conversation. Well, I mean, I think it's important for us both to be on the same page, right? Well, I wasn't planning to. Uh, you're the only girl I'm talking to at the moment. Is that the truth? I mean, this app's made sure of it, so... Oh, right, yeah. Uh, okay. No, 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 I'm joking. <laughs> I, there are so many good reasons that I'm only talking to you, and I hope that continues. You're quite loyal, huh? Guilty. Hmm. So does that mean you want to be in, like, a relationship, though? I mean, I suppose that's what would happen if we, we kept speaking to each other, no? I personally just feel like I don't want to use labels. Not anymore. I mean, we can be together and like we enjoy each other's company, but the names thing, I'm just, I'm not into it. I, I agree. I agree. And listen, I'm happy to go with the flow. Really? Whatever makes you most comfortable. Seriously. Thank you so much. You know, I really was worried about how you react to that. You were? Yes, yeah, some guys are like, listen, you're mine or that's it. And I just hate that. You're not property. I don't own you if, you know, we're individuals and we hang out. And that's, yeah, I'm happy. Thank you, Vinny. Going well. So, do you think that when we meet in person, the physical attraction will change things? 
I think it would be a massive bonus. Right, it would be better, no? Yeah, it would be. Okay, so in that case, we've had our first date. How would you end it? Uh, how would I leave things? Yeah. How would you leave it? How would you leave things? I would... I'd probably tell you how much fun I've had. And hopefully you've had fun. And then I would lean in for a kiss. I'd probably kiss you back. Okay. What would you say if I invited you back to mine? Wow, okay. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> did I say that right? No, 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 yeah, you did. It just sounds really elegant when you say it. <laughs> oh, right, yeah, whatever. <laughs> so? I mean, it would be rude to say no. Yeah, I would. <laughs> but I'm not surprised, to be honest. I think we'd have fun. I think we'd have fun too, yeah. I think we'd have a lot of fun. It's getting steep. Okay. Forget everything else. Do you want to kiss me right now? As in if there was no computer screen between us? Mm, no distance at all. I mean, I'm dying to. Yeah. Correct answer. Okay. <laughs> we should stop, so. Okay, no, no, you started that. Did I? No, I think did you I? did. I... No, I think you definitely did that. I think you know you did it. Okay, okay, moving on. So, how's your charm, Ain? It was good. It was good, yeah. <laughs> it's actually my favorite thing about England. It's actually Chinese, Charmaine. Maya, you there? Yes, sorry. Sorry. My head is... I guess you noticed that I was obviously crying earlier, right? Sort of. Yeah, I mean, my ex, he messaged me, so... Oh, okay. But you're still, you're still friends, right? Well, it wasn't like a friend's text. No. Got it, got it. Oh, yeah, I understand. So, where do you think your head's at? I'm just so confused because, like, well, we have something I've put in my past and I don't want to ever go back there. But, like, it's hard to just kill the feelings, right? We, it's, we spend so much time together. It's... I'm worried that there's a part of me that will always have love for him. Say something. Vinny. Did you get prawn crackers with your Charmaine? Come on. Oh, God, man. Well, it isn't easy for me to hear. I can, you know, clearly tell that you, you want to move on. And I think you will because time heals. Look, I, I'm not responding to him, I, especially when I'm speaking to you. I promise you that. So. The next step, moving off this app. I mean, what happens? Do we do we get each other's numbers? I guess so. I mean, I need to think about what's going on in my mind, and you need to do sure. the same. I can respect that. Yeah, of course. Right. I think we've got something good here. So let's see how much more there is. Oh my god, this is so much nicer than the app. I know. How are you? Are you alright? Yeah, I'm I'm good, I'm cozy. Who knew that we'd end up in bed together after the first in day? Oh yeah, no, I did. It's Chow Main. Chow Main is, is the way to my heart. And Yes, and the red wine. It helps me sleep, okay? Uh, also it gives me the craziest dreams. You ever get that? A dream I actually had recently this is really funny. A dream I had recently is that I met a really amazing girl on this new dating app. <laughs> Oh my god. Go on, okay. Tell, tell me about a dream you had. <coughs> I had this dream the other night that, like, I was, like, in a movie and I was, like, 
but at the same time I was shooting the movie so I was like doing both at the same time and then it was like everyone yeah like caught but like I couldn't call it. oh man we beat the game we got with Maya it's our mad mad game skills so I think there's still some time we might do this again and we'll try out I think we'll do one more playthrough however it goes we'll do one more playthrough um, and we will choose the other two girls that we never even met and we'll also choose saffron so uh, maybe saffron I don't know if we want to do that. We might go with Grace. But anyways, we'll be back. I'm going to take a quick break, and we're going to get right back into it.
All right, we are back. We just went on a successful date with Maya, and I'm pretty sure Maya and Vinny smashed. So we're gonna get back into this. Uh, let's do another another date. Those are my overall stats from when I played this before. So it's our like only our second successful date. So we're going to do a new game. And we might put the focus on Grace this time. See how that goes. We'll just go down the line. Use the same tactics. No, we're going for Grace, so we'll say Finance. <laughs> Gotta lie. That's how these, how this game works. In real life and in this game. Not really. But Lying, I don't recommend it. Let's see. I like Arts and Culture and charity and hmm what else let's say food and drink and we'll do libra again Have you actually just woken up? Yeah, yeah. What's the issue, man? Well, nothing. I just never understood how you could sleep until lunchtime. Lunchtime? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, furlough life has got my body clock battered, bro. Fair play for keeping a routine in lockdown, man. Fair play. Listen, I've been on calls all morning. I started off in Shanghai, then went to New York after lunch. Oh, money really doesn't sleep during a pandemic, innit? You bank wanker. <laughs> <laughs> okay, listen, 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 listen to me. Mm. I, um, I've got a surprise for you. Here we go. I joined a dating app. No way! <laughs> hey, this is huge, bro. Listen, I was all alone in my <laughs> flat. With... <laughs> I was all alone in the flat with nothing else to do, and I just thought, why not? You know what? I'm hearing that digital dating is popping off during lockdown, you know? Have you got any video dates yet? No, I literally just joined. OK, hey, Vin, hey, Vin, seriously, yeah? No joke. Your profile needs to be on point, yeah? And then when you're looking at these girls' profiles, <laughs> there's a few things you need to watch out for. You need to look at the angles that they're using to take the pictures and that, yeah? Because they're, they're going to deceive you. Callum, I have, I have talked to girls before. I do understand what you're doing. I have talked to girls before. OK. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, hold on. It's got a notification. Uh, no way. It looks like I've got beginner's luck. Oh, you sexy bastard, bruv. Yes, yes. <laughs> I've got some matches. All right, man, let me know how it goes, bro. Peace. All right, cool, man. Bye-bye. Okay, so we've been with Maya. So we'll do Grace. And Paige, just to see the other options.
Oh, this guy's looking pang, bro. Tasty. I've got three video dates scheduled back to back. Okay, show off. No, 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 not really. I've, I've never been on a digital date before. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, just treat it like a real life date, I guess. You know, people seem to be really enjoying them as well. Okay, and is this a good setup? I've got this right. Uh, you know what? I don't think you should have the bed in the back like that, man. It sends out the wrong message. Okay, I'm definitely moving into the living room. Okay. Oh, trying to look like a slut. Oh, oh, Vinny. What's my intention? Vinny, we've spoken about this. It's, it's, it's just wrong, man. It's wrong. <laughs> Now, you want to find a spot where the natural light is hitting your face, kind of like it's hitting mine and making me look so goddamn beautiful. And also, what you want is eye level. Set the camera to eye level, bro. Not low angle or high angle. They are not flattering. OK, I think this is a good spot. Uh, let's get that fireplace um, looking nice in the back. OK, I may have a couple more things. I really am so hurting. Oh, yeah, okay, I've got, like, a trophy from when I was a kid. Ah, yeah, show her that you're a winner. Yeah, and culture, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, I think we're, I think we're ready. Oh, should I drink? It is your call entirely, mate. Oh, the worst thing, though, is if you're drinking and the other person isn't. I'm so nervous. Um, I need some beers. Get some beers. Go on, then. OK. Cheers. Cheers. OK, wish me luck, yeah? I hope it goes terribly. Honestly, you are the bestest friend I've ever had. No, I'm joking. Listen, listen. You are going to smash this date, yeah? And you jump on all confident like, and you say her first name straight away. Straight away, straight in, smiling. Show them all your teeth. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Show them all the teeth. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I think the first one's about to start. Hey, go well, lad. Okay. All right, cool. Listen, I'll, uh, I'll debrief you all after. Right. I'll let you know how it goes. I'm getting nervous. Peace, boy. It's going to be... Right, peace. I'm going to click on this. Okay, bye. Cool. The same date we just went on, probably. With mm -hmm. Grace. But now, kind of know how to answer things a little better. Hello, Vinny. Oh, hi. Hi, so I'm so sorry. You weren't waiting long, were you? No, not too long. You're drinking? Uh, yeah. Is that cool or...? Okay. No. Yeah, it's all good. I just, I just wasn't sure if it was a good look for me. Do you mind if I go and grab one? Oh, no, no. Please be my guest. I don't want to be the only one drinking, so... Okay. There we go. I'll probably embarrass myself. <laughs> Okay, we've got the same beer. I'm not trying to I'm not trying to coffee you. I'm just You sure? I'm sure. What kind of beer is that? Cheers. Cheers, yeah, cheers, of course. Nice to meet you. Nice to uh, meet you as well. I'm gonna get very drunk very quickly, I feel. Just gonna put this down. <sighs> so, Vinny, am I at your first digital date in this new normal we're living through? Put me under the spotlight already. That's a tough question to open up with. Um hard. Just would think it would be like, yeah, no. Uh, yes. Yes, you are, actually. Oh, that's cute. We're each other's firsts. That can, uh, that can cut both ways. Very true. So, on your profile, it said your industry was other. I was just wondering what you do. Yeah, I'm in corporate law. Um, wow, okay. A little bit shocked that they didn't have a litigation option. I'll, I'll send them some feedback. Sure. So I'm a little bit extra like that. So, um, I mean, I presume you've been busy during lockdown. Yeah, apparently the world never stops needing legal advice. Um, I've just been made partner at my firm. So it's a whole new step up trying to make relationships with the clients and video calls are just no way to do it. You're a partner already. That's, that's pretty amazing considering you're only 27. Yeah, it's not very polite to remind a woman of her age. I, I'm, so, uh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean it. It was nothing about your age. It was more I'm just only, about that you're... I'm only pulling your leg. You are a little bit younger than what I would normally go for, though. Really? Hmm. I guess, why did you go for me, then? 
we share similar interests, it looks like. Um, when I get time off, I love like music, traveling, eating. Emphasis on eating. Yeah, big emphasis, big foodie here, and a big share of food. I'm one of those people that when they go to a restaurant, I just unashamedly order everything off the menu, starters, mains, desserts, everything. And you're a big sharer as well, yeah? Yeah, I mean, I just feel like that's part of eating. It's like a social thing. I really hope so we're going to be agreeable on that one. Me. Okay, so I'm going to tell you right now, I'm on exactly the same page. Like, I'm sold. I have no issue at all with scoffing my face at any time of the day. Okay, phew. That could have been really awkward. So what about your skills in the kitchen? Oh. I obviously can cook up a storm. Can you? But it's always nice when a guy knows his way around a stove. Okay. Okay. You're going to say something to reassure me here? I've got a few dishes up my sleeve that are a bit known to impress over the time, so... Such as? Okay, so I make some pasta dishes. Um, I can make a really mean roast. And I have pretty simple baking skills if you've got a sweet tooth. A solid repertoire. Yeah, so not, not too bad. I think I can hold my own in the kitchen enough. You passed just about. Oh. Just about. Just about. Yeah, yeah. I'd really like to know how come you're single. Your guess is as good as mine. I'm gonna fall back on that old cliche that I haven't met the right person yet. What about you? No, uh, listen, cliches are often true. Right, I'm a big defender of cliches. Anyway, stop avoiding the question. Okay. <laughs> Tell me the answer. What's your relationship history? Okay. You can be honest. I'm never Gosh, I get girlfriend. nervous saying this, but I've, uh, I've, I've never been in a relationship before. Um, I've never had a girlfriend. Wow. Not even something short term? No. Like you, I've just not found the right person yet. I guess your standards are pretty high too. So, Vinny, sorry, my schedule is just a little bit crazy at the moment and um, I kind of need to go soon. Oh. Is there anything else you fancy asking me? Oh, that's such a shame. Um, okay. You've got my full attention though, for a few more minutes. To think wisely. Okay. Any burning questions? Maybe just tell me a bit more about your upbringing and how you got to be such a high achiever. Oh, don't flatter me. <laughs> um, there's nothing to tell, really. I was really lucky to go to a good school, girls' school. Nice. Got really good grades. Did ballet. Did lacrosse for my county. I still keep those up casually. That's pretty impressive, I have to admit. Thank you. Um, I just have the most amazing family. My parents are just so brilliant in their own ways. They're my idols, really, and they just have this amazingly strong love. Hey, listen, it sounds like they really got it down. They are amazing. Um, what about you? Are you, are you close with your family? Oh, uh, in simple terms? Yeah, simple's always best, I think. Just be honest. Yeah. I really, really am. You are? I just have so much to thank them for just for i don't know making me the man that i am today and the man that i'm still becoming oh that's lovely yeah no 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 family is really really important to me yeah i agree can agree more well i'm gonna go now sorry if i was a bit outspoken that's just me no it's, just, it's cool it's just i really know who i am and what i want and i just don't want to waste my time you know i understand it's it's better to you know get that stuff out in the open so you know being honest is always the best wouldn't be anything else this felt really good you're a good egg Vinny. yeah you're not too bad yourself grace charming have a good evening you too so far our macking skills are pretty good i think that went well i think so I'll try to focus on Grace, get with Grace, and then go down the line to focus on Saffron. And basically this game tells you how to lie and cheat so that people like you. Shayna, nice to meet you. I mean, at least we're both a similar level of punctual. Yeah, and I was worried I was going to be late. I hadn't really figured out how to use this data now. Join the club. I just downloaded this thing this morning, so... Mm. Um, so, uh, I don't think it's wrong, but you're from up north, right? Yeah. Good, good spot. Um, from Leeds. Okay, but your your profile said that you live in London. Yeah, no, I do. Um, my parents moved down here a couple of years ago to be closer to their parents. So yeah, but 
Needless to say, the house was a bit of a downsize. One second, sorry, 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 one second. That's all right, you go ahead. Hanji? Neji? Okay. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, it's um, okay. You didn't hear that, did you? Literally not a word. What, what, what was it about me? God, no, I don't tell my parents about guys that I'm talking to on dating apps. Oh, wait, so you're living with your parents during lockdown? But you're, you're a frontline nurse. How, how is that working? It's not ideal, but um, I could have gone to a hotel, but I thought I needed to be closer to them to make sure that they were all right. Yeah. I kind of just self-isolate. I come in through the back and then just come straight to my room. OK, so no contact whatsoever, basically? Nope. Just nice. that shouting that you heard. <laughs> <laughs> OK, I, so I have to say, Shana, that I really, really admire what you and all frontline workers are doing at the moment. It, just risking your lives for Such others. Such a 2020 game. You guys are the heroes, seriously. Thank you. Thanks, Vinny. It means, it, it means a lot for me to hear that, um, for me personally and for all of my colleagues, so thank you. So this living at home situation, how long has that been going on for? Um, forever. OK. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I really get on with my family and, well, I'm actually just saving up for my own place and, well, like, in London and on a nurse's wage, that is just absolutely going to take me forever, so, yeah, so I'm living here for the foreseeable future. But listen, I just have to say amen to it because, <laughs> yeah, but how is the saving going? It... Really, really, really well, really well. Um, I might just be able to afford a cosy cupboard. Uh, <laughs> but I'm actually quite good at saving. I just I just like the odd luxury, like anyone else. Ooh, OK. Such as? Such as um, trainers. I'm always on my feet all day, so I like a comfy kick. No, it makes sense. If you're walking around loads, and listen, you have to, I feel like you have to spend your money on something. <laughs> You've got to enjoy it somehow, especially you working probably incredibly hard, so. I mean, I've got loads. <laughs> so, you live on your own, right? Yeah. Are you renting or do you own it? Well, sorry, either way, it looks really nice. From the bit I can see. You like, <laughs> you, from the bit you can see, you like. Yeah, the bit you've tidied up for this, it looks really good. <laughs> this place is so extortionate, though. I mean, my, my landlord's eased up on the rent during lockdown, but it just eats into my bank account every month. I don't know how you do it. Like, all my friends have the same issue at your age. Like, the struggle is real. I won't be able to do it. Hats off to you. Yeah, it's... Again, I'm just... Some people don't have a roof over their head right now. No. And so, I mean, I'm one of the lucky ones, regardless, so... It's true. You know. So, I figured I'd just address the elephant in the room. There's an elephant? Well, hopefully I'm the only one that can see it. How do you feel about the cougar sitting opposite you being three years your senior? <laughs> OK, uh, it genuinely makes no difference to me. What about you? No, it's no problem on my end, as long as you're mature and you're not expecting a sugar mama. <laughs> OK, no, 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 that's reasonable. No. Have you ever dated someone older? Or, like, what age range do you actually date if there is one? You're delving in here, aren't you? Uh, gosh, I haven't really... I don't think I've considered it too much. Relationships have kind of eluded me. What, so you've, you've never been in one? Nope, never. So you've never experienced that type of commitment? I'm really surprised. Like uh, uh, in a good way or? Um, just surprised. Jenna. OK. Um, sorry. One second, sorry. It's all right, go for it. OK. OK, bye. <laughs> that should bother me for a while. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, where was he? OK, sorry for the chat escalating so quickly. Oh, oh my goodness, that's all right. Small talk is boring anyway. I just think it's stuff that should be out in the open, you know, from the very start for both of us. So, now, now, look, now you can interrogate me as you see fit. OK, all right, I won't do that. I'm not going to grill you, but there are a couple of things that I was wondering, one thing in particular. OK, go for it. 
something about your profile. I, I noticed there was a baby in your profile picture, and I don't, I don't think you <laughs> delivered it. And I was wondering, do you have a baby? <laughs> okay, every guy on dating apps like mentions that I actually should take it down. <laughs> I just love it so much. So obviously he's not mine. Okay. Um, it's my baby nephew Ashish, and I just love him so much. Bless. And oh, so the, so you've got siblings? I've got one younger sister. One. She got married quite young, actually. I'd say 21, I think. I mean, that is quite young by today's standards. It's always her prerogative to get married, whereas yeah. mine, less so. Less so. Uh, I mean, was that a problem for your family? Not a big one, but as the older sister, all the extended family now see me as the spinster. Sure. So the pressure is still there, but it's just background noise. Yeah. And, you know, having said that, my biological clock is ticking. So there, no, sorry. This conversation, no, this conversation is not getting. No, started. you can't Apologies. dig into me about this stuff and not dig. You've got to say some stuff too. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Fine. Too, no, it's too serious. Okay, cool. All right. Yeah. Yeah. That is so rude. I'm so sorry. Listen, you have a free pass to be tired, all things considered. Oh, you know, it's been keeping me sane throughout the whole of this. I've been making myself a cocktail every night. So um, I was come back from work, sneak into the kitchen, make myself a really good cocktail, sanitize everything, drink it, and then it just knocks me out. Uh, you listen, you got to love a little ritual, right? I've actually become quite the mixologist now. Have you? Better with vodka, whiskey, and gin. Nice. So what's your favorite out of those? <sighs> what actually would I make you? Hmm, what would you make me? Which one would I choose? I would definitely go with whiskey. And and don't say old fashioned. It, ha it can't be an old fashioned. Everybody does that. How basic do you think I am as a mixologist? Okay. I'd make you a Worcester nail, John Brewery, and Scotch whiskey. Because if you're at a man already, that'll do the trick. I don't doubt it. Just even the sound of rusty nails <laughs> for a drink <laughs> is incredible. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it lives up to its name. Well, trust me, that would be very gratefully received these days. Sorry. It's nearly 8 p.m. Time to go on the clock. Oh, sorry, it's nearly 8 p.m. I'm going to have to go outside and do the clock for the NHS. Okay, likewise. Yeah. Um, enjoy the rest of your evening. Yeah, you too. You too. What is he so bummed out about? Oh, hi, Paige. <laughs> hey, I'm uh, I'm Vinny. Sorry, you you weren't waiting long, were you? Um, a little bit, but it wasn't your fault. I was actually just on here like filming a live vlog, so I just hopped on when I finished. Oh, what like um like a, a lockdown vlog? Yeah. Do you know what? I've seen so many people doing that on social media. You, are you okay? Sorry, I didn't say anything, did I? No, no, I just, I wondered where the, where the cute dog is from the profile pic. So, about that, the, she isn't actually mine. Oh. All right, so you did like the dog as a chick magnet thing, yeah? No. I fell for the oldest trick in the book, didn't I? No, I, I promise mm -hmm. you right now, I, it didn't even, I didn't even register that it was the only good picture I had, and I wanted to upload something half decent where I don't look blurry because I'm terrible at taking selfies, so. So, I know that guys also lie about their height on these apps. Okay, don't worry, I am actually 5'9". Okay, the 5'8 side of 5'9 or the 5'10 side? <laughs> I'm, I think I'd say I'm a solid 5'9". And that's how tall you are as well, aren't you? Yeah, I was just double checking. Okay, cool, yeah. <laughs> so, um, Not six your, foot. your outfit's really cool. Have you just done like a workout or something? Oh, no, no, no. This is gym slash loungewear. I literally haven't been wearing anything else in the whole of lockdown. And I've got loads of it because I'm an ambassador of the brand. Oh, so, so you're like a, you're like a personal trainer. That's cool. Oh, no. <laughs> I, I'm an influencer. 
okay influencer wow like uh, like on on social media yeah i started off as a model and then naturally just just became an influencer i guess Yeah, I'm not surprised to hear that. You're even more stunning than your profile picture. Oh, that's that's lovely of you to say. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. So, very welcome. I'm going to change the subject, if you don't mind. You know, I just feel like when I'm talking about my work stuff, it's just... It's a bit shit chat, really. Yeah, of course, of course, of course. We wouldn't want that. I'm happy to change the topic of conversation. So, if we weren't in lockdown, where would you take me on a first date. Ooh, I really don't want to get this wrong. I hope that I pick something that <laughs> you'd like. Um... Spit it out, mate. Come on. OK, indulge me in this one, but I would probably go for something like the Two Tates or the v &A or, oh my god, the National Portrait Gallery is just wonderful. We could go there. That's not really my vibe, you know? Um... Dang. I'm sorry to disappoint. No, I get, I get, I get, not everybody's into that kind of thing, so I don't. I don't strike myself as a, as a museum person, so I'm not sure why you would would have got that. I just thought maybe that it would be something interesting for us to maybe that to like because it's still cool stuff. It's just maybe a bit different. like walking through a library for a first date. Where's the vibe? I mean, libraries are cool. Yeah. Anyway, there is quite a lot I've been wondering. This isn't going well. Do you well. usually use dating apps? Do you know what? No, not really, but... Library is fine for using state. it as, as a lockdown boredom cure, really. Yeah. What about you? Uh, the main reason would probably be... Um... I mean, we're all guilty of it, you know, and it's, it's literally the weirdest time. Gosh, I don't want to come across too forward. I just really want to find someone who's on the same wavelength as me. Oh, okay. You actually know what what you want. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I think I do. Yeah. Wow. That's actually pretty rare to find in a guy, you know, our age. Um, same for When you. I think about me and, sorry to cut you off, no, 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 me and, um, and my life, like, I don't, I don't even know what's best. I've got, I have got a lot to consider. Okay, just because of like work and stuff. I've, I've just got a lot to juggle. Um, Fair enough. Fair enough. So it sounds like you've actually been uh, all on your lonesome during this lockdown. Is that right? Yep, you are correct. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Lost your your marbles yet? Oh, long ago. I mean, no one deserves to be cooped up in this flat for this long. Oh, yeah, I feel your pain. We've been locked up for a while too. Do you know what? I think it would be quite a nice idea to see each other's flats. Like a, a tour? I assume it's been so long since you've seen someone else's place and I haven't seen someone else's place in what feels like forever. Feels like it's been 10 years. I mean, I'd love to see a, a bit more of your flat if you were up for giving a tour. Oh, my flat as well. Um, I could, yeah, I could. Um, actually, do you know what? I, I actually would prefer to to not do that today. Um, it's just, okay. Whew, it's a bit of a mess in there, if I'm being honest with you. Okay, hold on, hold on. Are you one of those neat freaks who has a really skewed definition of what a mess is? Yeah. Yeah, I, I am. Maybe another time when it's like not your, not messy for you. Anyways, um, I'm off. Later, Vinny. Bye, Pete. Later. That didn't go well at all, Vinny. <laughs> Whoa! Quick answer. Hey, mate, I've been on tental hooks for this debrief, man. You were just waiting in bed for me to call you, weren't you? Bro, stop deflecting, man. Details, details. So, Grace, uh, yeah, she was really high achieving okay. and very intense. But I don't know, I kind of enjoyed that. Mm. Sounds pretty good. How'd you fare? Yeah, listen, I could tell she likes me, man. Oh. <laughs> 
talking about. The boy is out of the traps. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm. I, yeah. It was good. <laughs> it was good. I think it went really well. So. Yes, man. Of course it did. You're a catch. You're a catch. You're the catch. <sighs> I'm gonna get some more info. Surname? Uh, no, don't remember. Anything? She was just made partner at a big law firm. What's she doing talking to you? I think I got her, Grace Huckle Renford, but oh, she's only listed as an associate at the law firm. Huckle Renford, yeah, okay, let me take a look, hold on. This is her, this is her, this, yeah, this is her. Yeah? <laughs> this is her, yeah, no, 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 I'm not lying, this is her. All right, all right, all right, cool. You get the lowdown on Grace? I think so. I think so. Nice. So Shayna, frontline nurse. God bless her. Yeah, like really had all her stuff worked out and she's a bit older as well. Oh, experience, lad. No substitute for it. So, good day. If I'm honest, it could have gone a lot better. Oh, hey, bro, bro. Don't take it too personally, man. Forget about it. No, I'm trying not to. It's hard. It's just horrible when they don't go well. It's good that you got out there, man. So Paige was this uh, really tough model influencer type. Right. How'd you manage? Well, I thought I had this, but to be honest, I completely crashed and burned on this one. It was tough. Bro, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Yeah, she was just... She was just tough to... I couldn't crack her. I couldn't... We didn't get into it well enough for me to say that it went well, yeah. It was just tough. Not worth it. Well, just remember, mate, you've now got to tell the app which two girls that you like so you can ask them out on the second date. Do I? Oh, why does it work like that? I don't know. To stop girls getting strung along and catching feelings. Bro, I don't know. I didn't make the app. Just, just answer. I need to think on it. Um... But listen, thank you for your help, and I'm going to get some sleep, and I'll catch you tomorrow, yeah? No problem, bro. Have a good one, yeah? See you later. Good night. Second date. We're going to focus on Grace. And I think I blew that one. Yeah, we messed that one up, so we'll table that. Oh, no. Whoa, you're up and having lunch already, yeah? Behave. This is breakfast. What's good? I got a second date with Grace this evening. Ah, you got your A game ready? Yeah, listen, trust me, I need it with a woman like that. <laughs> Never have I ever. That is a drinking game, yeah? Make sure you got the booze ready. Not that you'd have much to drink to on the count of you never having done anything ever. Very funny, <laughs> ha ha ha. <laughs> Actually, I'm on the vino tonight. Ah, a bit more sophisticated for Grace, yeah? Huh? Actually, it's, it's a Sauvignon Blanc to be precise. Ooh, la la, oui, oui, ça va. <laughs> Are you going to take the piss every time I call you? Yes. I'm nervous. Bro, stop it, man. <laughs> Any word from your girl Grace since the first date? She actually sent me a little voice note over the app. Let's hear it. Oh, I don't know, man. Uh, don't know, man. Come on, man. Oh, why do you put me in these predicaments, Callum? Uh... How long has it been? Come on, man. All right, cool, I'm showing it, you know. Hello, hello. Hope you're doing wonderfully. Just thought I'd check in to say I'm very excited for our game date later. I'm expecting some raw, shocking truths about you, mister. Um, I hope you're enjoying this lovely weather. I've laid on the sunscreen and started working outside. See you soon. Ciao. Mmm, she can talk. Yeah, but she, she's got a lot of cool stuff to say. It's great. 
Of course, man. It's better that than the opposite, bro. You know what? Drop me a line after, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Ciao. <laughs> <laughs>
I'd be hanging around in the wrong circles. <sighs> You're not missing out on much, honestly. Um, no. I dated a few uh, famous people, I guess you could say. Really? Mm -hmm. They aren't all that big egos and they hate being put in their place, which, as you know, I'm not afraid to do. No, I can tell. Um, mm -hmm. So I think it's your go next. OK, never have I ever said I love you and not meant it. Oh. <laughs> wow, well, what are you going to say? I've never done that, honestly. Never. OK, that's good. They're the three most important words in the human language, right? They're, they're pretty hefty. Aren't they? Big pause here. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just too important of a statement to make falsely. And it's just so not fair on the other person for you to just throw those words out there. And then to not mean it. They're huge. They have gravity. They definitely do. I'm glad you're agreeing with me on this one. I think we've done all right there. Should we call it a day? Yeah, it didn't really take off, did it? I think I'm more boring than I thought. No, you're not. Possibly. I'm definitely too sober anyway. Yeah, completely sober over here. So, how did the birthday party go the other day? Oh, it was really good. Thanks for remembering and asking. Yeah, it was so nice to see everyone. I forgot how much I missed the girls. And, big question, did the birthday girl appreciate it? Yeah, she cried. Bless her. It set us all off. I just think there was a lot of alcohol involved and, you know, we were all feeling very emotional. But yeah, it was fun. Oh, listen, I'm glad to hear it. So, I've got a question. Go for it. What do you think of this whole digital dating thing? See, for me, I just think it's easier and I way prefer it. OK, how so? I don't know, like first dates, for example, you get to check out the other person without wasting your time and money. Yeah. Video dates eliminate false advertising. I think I should trademark that. And you're in the comfort of your own home, which is great. So do you think it's possible to keep up the sexual tension and chemistry if you haven't seen each other for weeks or maybe even months? Oh, that's hard to tell. Uh... Mm -hmm. Is it? To be honest, I'm pretty chill about the whole situation in that respect. Some of my friends are losing their mind over it. Yeah. Like, really? Yeah, same. I think uh, I think people are obviously getting really thirsty, but you know, I'd wait if I if it was for the right connection. That's good to hear. Not something you'd expect from a twenty-something-year-old. So. Shh. Oh, my flatmates just finished a date. I better go and debrief. Okay, totally. Half the fun is debriefing anyway. So. Very true. Well, listen. I'm uh, I'm I'm glad I got to see you again. Yeah, I really enjoyed myself. Thanks for uh, playing the game and humouring my opinions, as usual. Listen, it was, uh, yeah, it was my pleasure. I better go. Speak to you soon. I'll speak to you soon. Bye. I think that went good. So, how are you feeling about Grace? OK, overall, it was great. And she's intense and she speaks her mind, but I, kind of, I just love that about her. Uh, hey, uh, hey, that's good, but it's not like she's a straight shooter. No bullshit, bro. Yeah, oh, no, no, no. It yeah. feels that way. It felt good. Oh, it feels good. It feels so good. Well, I don't doubt, I don't doubt she feels the same way, mate. You're a catch. You gas <laughs> me up, man. No doubt made you soft. You are... Callum, do you actually want to date me? Oh, my God. We're talking about a date that you went on, and now you're propositioning me. Is this what, is this what it feels like to be sexy? Now you're propositioning me. <laughs> Anyway, man, get some rest, you know, get some Z's. Thank you for the support, as always. Um, and I appreciate it a lot. Yeah. I mean, like, what else is there to do? I mean, living vicariously through you is the most fun thing about lockdown. Come on, you love hearing about this. You I love all this gossip stuff that I talk to you about. I, I love it. This is good. This is what makes me live. It's great. <laughs> Thank you. I right, listen. I'm going to make a move because I'm knackered. But um, no, seriously, thank you, because I appreciate it. Ah, uh, man, no problem, man. Uh, no cool. problem. I'll catch you later. Good night. Cool.
It's hey. the big dinner tonight, boy. What's on the menu, man? Have you guys coordinated? So, well, it was coordinated by Grace that we should both cook the same thing. Ah. Initiative. Yeah, listen, that's her middle name, man. But she's um, she's got me cooking a spaghetti carbonara, but the, the proper Italian way. And when I say this thing is so complicated, so she better be impressed if I pull this off. Uh, mate, I've got something to tell you. Oh, uh, do you know what? We always suspected it, bro. I'm really... Seriously. What? What's, what's happened? Uh, I'm going to share my screen. Wow, okay. Um. <clears throat> I didn't realise it was your grace until I properly checked her profile, man. I mean, have you scheduled a date or anything? Of course not, bro. I, I just wanted to tell you, innit? I'm gonna unmatch her as soon as possible. It's fine if she's still chatting to other people, right? Because, I mean, it's still so early. I'd say so, man. And you must be top of the power as well. <laughs> so, obviously, like... Date three is something. It's nothing, man. Bro, if this was in real life, an in-person date, Dang. you would be She was so concerned about... Right well, listen, obviously know, that's off the table because we're not in person, not so... How, how you answer on um, dating, your friends, okay, listen, your friends... Okay, listen. Finding your friend's lover attractive See what her things. vibe is. If she was so concerned about that. That's all I've got. <laughs> and she's just out here... Good luck. Sending oh, listen, friend we'll chat requests later. to everybody. Debrief, yeah? Uh, yeah, great. Give us a bell, but um, if you call later on, I might not answer. <coughs> wow, what's going on? <laughs> well, your boy's only gone and got himself a little video date tonight, hasn't he? Ooh. No. Ooh. Are you serious? How? What? Who? When? Where? Tell me. Tell whoa, me, tell whoa, me tell whoa, 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 bro. Give me you know I like to keep it low with these sort of things, man. Asking too many questions in that. Come All on, right, man. okay, do you know what? I won't pry anymore. <laughs> I'll let you go and enjoy this day and then call me or something and we'll debrief properly at some point, yeah? All right, then cool, bro. I'll give you a bell soon, innit? Cool, man. I'll right, catch you later. Good luck. Peace. Smash it. Grace. Wow, you look... Uh, you, you look amazing. Thank you. I have a little thing for headbands and I only wear them on special occasions, so consider yourself lucky. Oh, listen, I do. Um, have you got your carbonara there? I do. I was waiting for you to taste test it. I'm going to do it now. Ooh, it looks really good. Nice. Oh, my God. If I do say so myself, that is divine. Right, let's see yours. Let's be having it. OK, boom. That looks solid. Give it a taste. OK, cool. Let's twirl it. I think that's what people do. They twirl it on their fork, yeah. Twirl it off, yeah. Put it down, yeah. It's solid. It's probably not like my standard, but it's edible. Okay, acceptable is what we'd call it then. Yeah, okay, we'll go with that word instead. Yeah, no, I can eat this. Nice. Oh. I don't know about you, but I can't wait to have a proper dinner date post lockdown. Yep. Some nice food. Maybe some nice wine, some candles, a good movie, some ice mm. cream or dessert, something romantic, the full works. Out of me and you, who's cooking? Oh, I actually meant at a restaurant. Oh, sorry, my bad. No, but I prefer your suggestion. I guess either of us could cook, but um, what about after dinner? Oh, okay, so I've always loved an apple crumble after dinner. No, no, I don't think you're picking it up. Would you make a move? Oh, oh, do you, oh, okay. Uh, that's a change of gears. Uh, you know me. Yeah, yeah. I'd, uh, I'd pick a moment and kiss you. You'd land right on my lips. Do you, um, do you have a rule of thumb of how far you'd go with someone the first time you were intimate? What do you mean by rule of thumb? Okay, which That's base generally one. do you go to the first time? You're familiar with the bases, right? First, second, third, fourth. Third, yeah, four bases, yeah. Um... Hmm. Okay, if we if we keep talking the way we have been, then 
I, th I think we'd be comfortable to go pretty far. Well, mister. I mean, what can I say? It's been a long lockdown. <laughs> Tell me about it. Um, but you'd still have to be very lucky and hope that I have a substantial amount of wine in me. Noted, noted. Wine and chocolate and you could have a chance. Okay. So, I have a question. If this goes somewhere, what are you, what are you like in a relationship? Uh, that's tricky for me to answer because isn't that best judged by the other person? True. Have you heard of the four attachment styles? No, I can't say I have. Okay, there are four attachment styles that define how we process love and emotion. And they are? So they're secure. That means you're comfortable and confident in a relationship and find it easy to get emotionally close. Okay, and then? Anxious, preoccupied. You're nervous about love being reciprocated. You want emotional intimacy, but you never get it. Oh, okay, that sounds painful. Next. Dismiss avoidant. You're emotionally distant and not comfortable getting close to anyone. Okay, and the fourth is? Fearful avoidant. Dramatic and unpredictable. You want close emotional relationships, but you don't trust or depend on anyone. Okay, and so you want to know which one I am, yeah? Yep. I'm definitely secure these days, okay. but careful. Some of them are definitely more compatible than others. So shoot. Okay, um, let me just think about those options. Um, think about it long and hard. I'd probably say I'm secure. Snap. Yeah, I'd say I'm pretty level-headed in the relationships in my life right now, and I feel like I'm very available overall. Okay, so theoretically, if I went on a hen do with my girls abroad, would you would you feel paranoid if I went MIA for periods? No, no, no. Like. I'd trust you. I mean, a, a little bit of communication would be nice, but go and have fun. I mean, that's fair enough. And radio silence is just unkind. Yeah, no, I don't think it's cool to just completely cut the person off because you're with other people, but yeah. I agree. Um, so that was actually kind of a trick question. Trust you to throw me a curveball like that. Well, I think everyone can be all the attachment styles, depending on who they're with and how much they like them and their attachment styles. I think I used to be anxious, preoccupied. How come? Just every relationship I ever had made me feel that way. I guess high expectations make you wonder if you're good enough, right? So you, what, you always felt like you had to prove yourself? Yeah, prove myself, sell myself, back myself, the whole lot. Did you ever feel like you had to oversell yourself? No, never. Sorry, I didn't realise I was opening up this much. No, no, this is great. This is the thing about digital dating. It just it makes you open up. I don't know why. I know, because there are no real-life distractions to fall back on. I, I, I have to say, I'm glad, I am glad, though. You know, I feel like I've really been able to get to know you. Me too. And I'd like to continue, but I, I kind of feel like we've outgrown the dating app. Um, we should probably exchange numbers. Oi, oi, don't hog the duvet. No, I'm actually quite good at sharing. And forgive me if I fall asleep on the call, I'm quite tired. Well, that's all right. I'm actually curious to see if you snore. Snore? No, I don't snore. You look like you could be a snore. No, I don't. How do, what do you mean I look like I could be a snore? <laughs> You've just got something about you. I... I, I bet you do snore because you're telling me I snore. You're the one that's probably in denial about it. No, I'm not. But that people do have weird habits in bed. Please don't tell me you have any weird habits. What do you mean weird habits? I don't have any weird habits in bed. I get into bed. I get in the duvet. <laughs> I just sleep. Oh, and... that's a problem. I'm very, I move <laughs> a lot. I'm very, I mean, I scarf it. There we go. Another successful date. So going down the list of the five dates and we got Maya in bed and now we got Grace in bed and uh, we got another credit scene. I don't believe there's anything after these credits, unfortunately. Um, we might do an take another break between dates. Got to just refresh mentally. It's, it's a lot. And there's so much stress and work, but it's worth it. So we're going to take a break and then we're going to come back and 
try to figure out how to get saffron in bed which i think we're just going to go with the vegan approach we're going to come in it we're going to you know just uh we'll be like say they were vegans and we like charity and and things like that see we kind of come with the financial approach to get grace she's big business but saffron we're gonna have to say like you know you know just we're liberal and we don't eat meat don't eat meat don't even talk about meat um that's probably what we're gonna have to do but we're gonna go on break and we will be back with some more of this game
All right, we are back for more dates. I think we're going to focus on Saffron this time and see and just work our way down the line. So let's get back into the I mean, listen, I've always worked my own hours, so nothing's really changed. Yeah, cool story. Uh, is this why you woke me up? No, it isn't. I actually... I... We'll skip through here and talk Oh, this guy's looking peng, bro. Tasty. I've got three video dates scheduled back to back. Okay, show off. It is your call in time. I need some beers. Get some beers. Go on, then. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, wish me luck, yeah? I hope it goes terribly. Honestly, you are the bestest friend I've ever had. No, I'm joking. Listen, listen. You are going to smash this date, yeah? And you jump on all confident like, and you say her first name straight away. Straight away, straight in, smiling. Show them all your teeth. Okay. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Show no. them all the teeth. Oh my goodness. Okay, I think the first one's about to start. Hey, go well, lad. Okay, all right, cool. Listen, I'll, uh, I'll debrief you after. I'll let you know how it goes. Peace, boy. All right, peace. I'm gonna click on this. Okay, bye. I was just doing yoga and I like completely zoned out. Do you mind if I just tidy this up for one time? I'll be really quick. No, please, please, go ahead. Thank you so much. I have to turn off the lights. Tell you what I'm gonna do. Just gonna light some incense because there is some very sweaty energy in here. <laughs> Okay. I'm with you. 
I think it's pretty uh, it's pretty cool that you're keeping active during lockdown. Oh my gosh, it's like the only way I could keep my equilibrium. <laughs> Have you been like keeping active or doing any exercise during lockdown? I don't know. Like what, just walking or? <laughs> <laughs> Anything, any kind of exercise, just keeping active, keeping limber. Believe it or not, I actually do yoga too. Shut up. I never would have pegged you for a yogi. Really? I'm actually still pretty limber. Do you wanna do you wanna do a pose together? Honestly, I thought you'd never ask. Let's do it. Yes. Amazing. Okay. <laughs> okay, so this is the revolve. Revolve chair pose. Yes. <laughs> okay. I'll admit it. I'm actually really <laughs> impressed. <laughs> How is my technique? Good? That was very, yeah, that was pretty good. We literally both did the same thing as well. <laughs> yeah, I know, snap. <gasps> that was amazing. Ah! My headphones are out. Well, listen, thank you for breaking the ice, Saffron. It's my specialty. So, I have an ask. What is it that you do for a living you know, when you're not breaking the ice? Um, I'm a project manager for an animal welfare charity. Oh my goodness, that's really cool. I've actually been a vegan for about 10 years. Do you mind if I ask what you eat? No, no, not at all. It's it's a very important detail right now, isn't it? <laughs> in pretty much every relationship in life. <laughs> I'm a vegan too. Snap. Shut up. Yeah. For how long? Well, a couple of years now. I watched a few documentaries online that just shook me to the core. And yeah, I never went back. I don't even want to watch those. Although I guess it's good that they're out there. Oh my God, do you want to hear something really cool? It's gonna blow your mind. Okay, go on. <laughs> I make my own milk. Oh my gosh, <laughs> oat milk. I make my own oat milk. Jeez, <laughs> I thought you meant, you know what, never mind. <laughs> How? I literally spend a small fortune on this stuff. I oh, know, okay, it's so easy. Um, you basically just put oats in like a liter of water, let them soak, add a bit of sweetness, and then you just sieve out the oats with some muslin done that's it i know i just changed your life what where are your eyes wandering off to <laughs> your uh your living room is confusing eccentric <laughs> no fascinating what interests you most uh There are actually some really interesting pieces of art over there. Ah, you're staring at my boob pots. Your what? <laughs> I attend these um, pottery classes and I like made these collection of pots with female breasts in all different shapes and sizes. I feel like they're all really beautiful. Hey, listen, amen to that. What do you think? Okay, okay. I think... I won't be offended. Come on, just tell me. <laughs> I think that they are beautifully crafted. A sort of rustic, but with real detail too. I actually think that you're really, really talented, so. Okay, you've gone completely overboard there, but. Well, just, you know. Thank you, you're very sweet. <laughs> anyway, I've spoken way too much, so it's your turn to tell me about you. Ah. Uh... I'm really not great at talking about myself. Oh, you know what we could do? There's this ultimate compatibility test that's only three questions. Do you want to do it? Okay, let's go for it. Okay, so question one is, do you like horror films? Ooh. I just have to give a simple yes or no answer, yeah? Mm-hmm. Very straightforward. Oh, then this is super, super easy. Um, I, I love them. Supernatural ones, uh, psychological oh. ones, thrillers, slashes, okay. creatures. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. I'm going to stop you there. What? I'm so sorry. I cannot stand them. No. <gasps> oh, that's such a shame. Because they're so good to watch with people. Yeah. I mean, what is there a reason? Like, why don't you like them? I just... um. To be perfectly honest with you, I suffer from like 
I suffer from anxiety really bad. I'm so sorry to hear that. It's okay. I, I keep it under control of my lifestyle choices, but I used to get panic attacks really badly, so I just try to avoid like all triggers. Like scary movies. <laughs> I totally understand. And they're just films, so it's not a big detail. So, uh, have you ever traveled to another country alone? Ooh, I think I have to think about that for a second. Um, yeah, I know. It's kind of hard to remember that kind of stuff. Okay. Okay, I don't know if this counts. I have. Um, I studied abroad in Bologna in Italy, and that was just... That was crazy. I mean, I love traveling, but I actually don't think I've ever been alone. You haven't? No. no okay, I find Ooh. that surprising. I know. You kind of would have thought I had, right? I seem like the type. <laughs> uh, how comes you haven't traveled alone yet? I don't know. Don't get me wrong. Like, I love my own company, but I just feel like in experiences like traveling, I just want to share my energy with someone. I get that completely. Yeah. Finally, could you pack up your life and live on a boat? Wow, now that is a left field question. Just imagine yourself, yeah, completely alone. Completely isolated, mm -hmm. again. Floating along. Do you know what, I reckon I could. I think I'm a pretty low key guy at the best of times and I'm thinking about it now and that sort of tranquility is probably a bit of me. Okay, disclaimer, my sea legs aren't great, but I guess that's just something you'll get used to. Yeah, no, same. I could do it in a heartbeat. I feel like lockdown is a great practice. No, 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 I'm there. I'm there with you. Well, that was a bit of a disaster, wasn't it? Smidge. I guess we're not compatible. Ah, I mean, do you really trust all these personality tests? <laughs> Vinny, just because I'm a hipster it doesn't mean that i base my life off obtuse thinking <sighs> and mysticism okay no no you're right however i did notice that our star signs aren't super compatible yeah thank you so much for this evening Vinny. i had a really lovely time getting to know you you have a really beautiful energy thank you saffron so do you and uh yeah it was just a, a real pleasure talking to you Hey, oh. you're right, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> hi there. Uh, go on, uh, sorry, ladies first. Um, hi, um, I'm Shayna. <laughs> Shayna, nice to meet you. I mean, at least we're both a similar level of punctual. Yeah, and I was worried I was going to be late. I hadn't really figured out how to use this dating app. Join the club. I just downloaded this thing this morning, so. Mm. Okay, I, so I have to say, Shayna, so this living at home situation. And, well, like, for in London and on a nurse's way, do, do you enjoy living with family? Is that, is that something that? Yeah, definitely. Cause I, we're really. Oh, well, you're kind of missing out on like, adult stuff, no? Like what? I would just put it into a category of fun. You mean like clubbing and stuff? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I had my fun at uni and had my fun in my twenties, and now. Um, a good home-cooked meal and a bottle of Malbec is my kind of, like, wild Friday night. OK, that does sound like a perfect evening. Not every evening. Not every... Oh, no, no, you don't do that every evening. That's not a thing that you do all the time. It's now and again. Um, you live on your own, right? Yeah. It looks really nice. From the... I... So, I figured I'd just address the elephant in the room. You're delving in here, aren't you? Uh... Gosh, I haven't really... I don't think I've considered it too much. I generally date girls that are younger than me. Girls being the operative word. Possibly. Now, usually it's hard with people in their 20s because they don't know what they want or even what they need. No? So who usually leaves who? OK, just as a really quick disclaimer, I have spent the entirety of my 20s not knowing what I want or what I need. I definitely took time. If I could be completely honest with you, I tend to leave them. Wow. Wow. Someone isn't afraid to break hearts. 
No, no, no. Okay, I, I always handle it sensitively. I send them a really nice long text, and it's very well thought out. Then it, no, oh no. Okay, I'm uh, I'm gonna stop talking now. Uh, I've already said too much. Digging myself yeah. a hole, and that's that. Dinner. Um, Dinner. Sorry, you can interrogate me as you see fit. <sighs> okay, what drew you to nursing? Like, was there a moment that you thought this is for me, um, or? Yeah, I guess so. Like. So my family have always had a history of ill health, about like diabetes, heart conditions, various hormone deficiencies, you name it. I was actually quite lucky in that department. So I just like grew up caring for my loved ones. Then I'd say it was just sort of like a natural progression into medicine from there. So you must have had to grow up quite quickly. Yeah. Um, my granddad was always in that hospital and I was really close to him. Mm. And it was the NHS that kept him with us for so long, basically. So. Ultimately, I just wanted to give back to people. And uh, your grandpa, how, how long ago was it that he passed? Well, we were in London. But I'm glad my mum and that like, moved down in time to spend that time with them. Yeah. But... Well, he would be super proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, I never really thought about it, but I think he'd be proud. It, that honestly goes without saying. I'm trying to bomb this, Vinny. Yeah. You're doing good. Yeah. That is so rude. I'm so sorry. Listen, you have a free pass to be tired, all things considered. Oh, you know, it's been keeping me sane throughout the whole of this. I've been making myself a cocktail every night. So um, I was come back from work, sneak into the kitchen, make myself a really good cocktail, sanitise everything, drink it, and then it just knocks me out. Uh, you listen, you got to love a little ritual, right? I've actually become quite the mix. What's your favourite out of those? <sighs> what actually would I make it? Hmm, what would you make for me? Which one would I choose? Okay, what's your... What could you do with gin? If I went gin, what could you do me with gin in it? What could I do with gin? A lot of things, right? But actually, okay. there's a really, really um, classic British cocktail called Bramble. A what? A what ball? <laughs> what ball? Sorry, sorry. A Bramble. Okay, a so bramble. you've never had a Bramble. No, yeah, okay, bramble. no never okay. heard of it. It's actually super simple. So you have crushed blackberries, a bit of gin, lemon juice, nice. a tablespoon of sugar syrup, uh, ice, creme de mer, and a slice of lemon to garnish. Uh, that does not sound simple at all. <laughs> no. oh, it's perfect now that summer's rolling in. Ooh, it's nice. Well, trust me, that would be very gratefully received these yeah. days. Um, enjoy the rest of your evening. Yeah, you too. You too. See, so I'm skipping ahead on parts that we've seen just for the sake of time. I'm just gonna skip yep. all of that. I don't even care. Okay, all right, okay, okay. P personally, I think that the best way to get to know someone is by going for a drink on the first date. I mean, call me old fashioned, but yeah. We'd go somewhere. Okay. Have a drink. I mean, I'm not really a pub girl, but... No? No. But you know what? We could go to a bar. Okay. That would be yeah. nice. On a rooftop. Okay, specifically on a rooftop. Yeah. We, okay. We'd have to have a beautiful sunset happening at the same time. And of course, good music. This is all so specific. Yeah, very specific. But you know what? I'm not the hugest drinker, so I'd be a cheap date. You know what I'm saying? Maybe two and then you're done and that's your that's your thing. You can get by. I like to be healthy, you know. Didn't I hear somewhere that um like getting free drinks is a perk of your job? Or have I got that wrong? <laughs> it is, isn't it? Am I wrong? Do you know what? If I if I didn't already know what I bring to the table, now I do. Okay, listen, I promise you it's far more interesting than anything I want to offer, so <laughs> Do you reckon? So there is quite a lot I've been wondering. Go. Do you usually use dating apps? Do you know what? No, not really, but I've just... Uh, the main reason would probably be... Um, I mean... Even before lockdown, I wasn't really meeting women that I connected with. No, so this was, this was kind of always on the cards. Do you know why you weren't meeting particularly cool women before lockdown? You know, like... Like you, of course. No, I'm joking. <laughs> but, like, 
It's not like there aren't loads of women looking for a decent guy at the moment, you know? For some reason, they just haven't picked me yet. We're on the hunt. But I don't know, I just didn't, I just didn't want to approach a woman. You guys, honestly, you overthink this stuff. No, I know we overthink, I know we Like, do. we don't bite, you know? And you, you seem like a nice, a nice guy. Shouldn't be shy. No, I, been, I like, skipping through the I state. Guess, yeah, I just kind of just. And we're doing better when I, than when I try. Approaching a woman was, I just found it difficult. Okay. What about you? Um, I mean, I'm, I'm used to confident guys, to be honest. Okay. So it sounds like you've actually been uh, all on your lonesome during this lockdown. It's been so long since you've seen someone else's place and I haven't seen someone else's place in what feels like forever. Sounds like it's been 10 years. Well, listen, I could give you a tour of my abode if, you, if you're interested. You know what? I am actually, because it would be refreshing to see someone else's prison. Great, okay, cool. Yeah. Let me show you around. Let's do it. Okay, we're first. All right, cool. Uh, so, uh, yeah, this is sort of my main chill space, if you will, and okay. trophies, because I think I was a winner at some point in life. Um, again, nothing to write home about, but it's my home. I can see that, you know, the decor is a bit, ooh, and I think you probably could have done with my help choosing the furniture, right? That is savage. What's going on there? You don't like the sofa? I'm just being real, like... You, do you actually think it's that shabby? I, I'm sorry, I'm, I know I'm being very honest, but... I don't, these are hand-me-downs. This is like vintage stuff. I can tell that they're hand-me-downs. You know, the word vintage or just anything vintage, just, it doesn't cut it with me. I'm sorry. Um, no. Fair enough. But where are we off to next? Show me the rest. Let's move on. Uh, let's hope you like the kitchen. I'm an honest lass, you know? Okay, um, so yeah, this is my uh, my kitchen, and I've nearly burned it down a few times. Yeah, I mean, it could do with a bit of a tidy, but you know what? I would actually cook something there. Yeah, um, it's good. It's a decent kitchen. Yeah, but show us what we all want to see then. What's in the fridge? Fridge, you want to see the fridge? I mean, you've kind of caught me on a good day because I just did a bit of a weekly shop. Um, Okay, so what's it what's it filled with? Um, would you say you eat clean or? This is always a good question, isn't it? Um, okay, kind of looking at the contents of the fridge now. Um, I'd say I tend to eat quite clean, yeah. Yeah, same. I mean, the salad drawer is pretty much always full. We're like food twins. <laughs> Got some nice stuff in there, some ch love chives. Um, I am the fussiest eater ever are you you know when someone else cares about what goes into their bodies like you know i appreciate that okay where do you think we're going next um i don't know it surprised me it is a surprise okay where are we going next what's the next part of this and last but not least bedroom yay my, uh, okay my room right okay is this where the magic happens um Okay, during lockdown, not so much. I mean, yeah, not for anyone in lockdown. Pre-lockdown, probably also not so much. Just <laughs> not a lot happening. <laughs> I think it's probably, they would say, anti-magic. As... <laughs> oh my gosh, you're funny. <laughs> yeah, maybe, can we wrap up Bedroom Gate? Is that okay? Yeah, uh... <laughs> Wrap that oh up. my gosh. Okay, let's head back to the living room. All right, thank you. Welcome. Okay, and that concludes our tour. Appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, I'm not really sure if my decorating. Yeah, you don't know what you're doing, like, do you? No. <laughs> you need my help. No. <laughs> Did you get the furniture from like a jumble sale or? Don't, don't, no. <laughs> this is good furniture. I'll have you know, this is good furniture. Okay, so I'm gonna go. Um, I hope that your experience of, of digital dating has been good so far. Yeah, it has been for sure. Thanks, Paige. All right, see you, bye. See you later, bye-bye, bye. -bye. bye. <coughs> Whoa, quick answer. 
Hey, mate, I've been on tental hooks for this debrief, man. You were just waiting in bed for me to call you, weren't you? Bro, stop deflecting, man. De so, Saffron, yeah, um, where to start? She had a lot going on. She had this super cool hipster vibe. Okay. And... Do you know what? Oh, no, was it, was it terrible? Yeah, we're you just saving really time, well, skipping through the dialogue we've seen before. Yeah, yeah, Whatever it'll yeah, let us skip, yeah, we'll skip. Yeah, yes, yes. I am proud of you, mate. Yeah? Vinny is proud. Oh, no, I said my name is Vinny. Shit. <laughs> I am proud of you, my guy. Listen, Callum is proud of Vinny. Vinny should feel vindicated. <laughs> you get anything else? Surname... Anything? So just a job, but I reckon I could find it. There can't be too many saffrons nearby. Okay. Hold on, I'm just gonna have a look now. I found her. I found her. Ah. Yeah, this is her. Mm. Saffron. Yep. You get what you need? I think so. All right, bro. That's you then. So Shayna, frontline nurse. God bless her. Yeah, like really had all her stuff worked out and she's a bit older as well. Oh, experience, lad. No substitute. If I'm honest, it could have gone a lot better. So Paige was this uh, really tough model influencer type. Right. How'd you manage? I think, do you know what? Solid, I think. It sounds like there's going to be a second date. I think, I don't want to jinx it, but who's... Tell me you didn't go on a video date with, with, with Paige Lee. I went on a video date with Paige Lee. You're a prick. Get off, <laughs> get off. Get off. How do I hang this up? Get off. I don't want you. I don't do want you. you I don't want to talk to you. I don't oh, talk. Bro. Why are we talking? Oh, I'm sorry. Why Hold are we on. talking um, right now? Do you have lippers calling me? Do you have lippers calling me? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, just remember, mate, you've now got to tell the app which two girls that you like so you can ask them out on a second date. Do I? Oh, why does it work like that? I don't know. To stop girls getting strung along and catching feet. Skipping right along, so we're gonna go out with Saffron again, and Paige. Of course, right where I expect you to be. Bro, I've been killing these kill streaks recently, fam. So, listen. I've got my second date with Saffron tonight. Nice work. What's the game? Uh, I think tarot, tarot reading, tarot reading. Oh, we're gonna get a oh, um, tarot those cards, cards that read. people use to tell their future. That's the one. That's the one. Yeah, I'm kind of just approaching it with an open mind. It's the best way to be, bro. Have you chatted since the first date? You're gonna hate me, but <laughs> she's actually sent me a vegan recipe over the app, and I'm cooking it right now. Like it's a cauliflower curry. Oh. Christ. <laughs> uh, Actually smells pretty I've good. Heard enough. You know what? Call me later, vegan. <laughs> uh, get your cucumber ass out of it. Alright, cool. I'll check you in a bit. I'll let you know how it tastes. Bye. Hopefully we hit all the meat products. Knock knock. knock. Oh my god. Hey, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I thought I better be early because of last time. No, 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 you're all right. Oh, and thank you for doing a tarot reading, by the way. I like was looking at the other games. And I was just like, I think this will be a little bit different. Yeah, listen, I don't know much about it, but I'm a willing guinea pig. You are in for a treat, young man. Okay, should we just do this? I'm quite excited. Yes, okay. So, this is my tarot deck. Nice. Um, tarot deck should be like really personal. 
to their owner. Um, it sort of acts as a vessel of their energy to give like an authentic reading. So like kind of like um, an energy sponge. Yeah, I mean, there are very different types of readings that you can do. Um, but for today, I'm just going to do like a simple general reading that goes into your past, present and future. Do you know, sorry, I thought that they only told the future. That is a common misconception. They actually don't tell you anything. They can um, tell the all, past really. too? <laughs> it's more, hey, no, they just like bring up stuff in your life um, that you can sort of delve into and consider. I could let's just the get past. Okay. So, um, the first two cards I pick out are going to pertain to your past. Okay. Nervous. It should be. <laughs> okay. Okay. Which card are you more drawn to? The moon or the page of pentacles? Okay, and uh, you're not going to give me any tips, right? Like, you're not going to tell mm -hmm. me which one is better and it's going to tell me I'm more amazing. That's not how this works. Okay, uh... Um... The... Moon! Moon! I'm gonna go with the moon. Okay, the moon. Lunar leaning. Interesting choice. Okay. Um, right. So do you prefer upright? or reversed? I prefer it. Upright. Up, I'm going upright. Upright? Yeah, yeah that's my choice. Okay. <laughs> so in this form, um, the moon card represents a mystery in your past. So like a mystery for me? Perhaps, um, or if there was like a truth that always eluded you, or maybe like a secret that you kept from others. Um, the moon card also represents lofty dreams and a sense of foreboding. Does any of that ring true? So I had what, big hopes that may have been dangerous to pursue. You tell me. Something that people don't know about me is that I actually wanted to be a photographer. There's the dream. What kind? A war photographer. Ah, there's the foreboding. Yeah. How come it didn't work out? Uh, I guess just lots of people encouraged me against... Uh, I chickened out, basically. What am I talking about? I don't know. I just... I was always drawn to pictures of conflicts and, well, from the safety of my classroom, they just informed me of how much injustice there was in the world, just how much cruelty among people and obviously specifically in war and yeah i guess i just wanted to spread that awareness myself and maybe inspire change do you know what? i haven't thought about that in so long so damn thank you for reminding me <laughs> that's what the cards are for yeah these cards are deep very very deep mm -hmm. yeah. god we live in my past traumas so this is my present it is indeed. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, the tower or the two of swords? Good looking cards. Good looking cards. Um, I like two of swords. Two of swords? Yeah, I'm going with that. So this is actually my favorite card. <laughs> Upright or reversed? Oh God, I always get nervous picking this one for some reason. So can he, is he even reversed. away? Reversed. Reversed? Yeah, I'm confident. <laughs> You're confident. Well, that's good because in this form, the card radiates an energy of disappointment, <laughs> deception, and false expectations. <laughs> I, thought, I thought it was going to be something good. Nope. Um, what do you think? No, I can't say I feel it. No, no, no. I can't say I feel any of those emotions. Although, okay, in fairness, I could make other people feel them without realizing it. Especially when dating. Okay, but you don't need to worry about that from my side because I don't feel shortchanged yet. Same from me. 
Do you know what? I, um, I think these cards could be wrong. Well, let's hope so. <laughs> right, into the future we go. <laughs> okay, my guess about my future is as good as yours, so I guess this is where the real mysticism starts, right? Wow, these are just like feelings I get. Um, you know, maybe they'll just focus your attention on an outcome you'll want to like achieve or avoid. Sure. Okay. <sighs> It makes me nervous when you do that. That was this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So seven of cups or the four of wands. Four of four of wands or seven of cups. Um, what do you like the look of? Okay, purely for the magic, I'm going with four of wands. Four of wands. Okay. Yeah. <gasps> Upright or reversed. I feel like they kind of look the same, but you just got to go with what you feel. Okay, upright. Upright? Do you think upright? Yeah, I don't know. You yeah, yeah. <laughs> Upright? Upright. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. This is actually a really lovely one. Um, Good. I see peace, happiness, and harmony encompassing all aspects of your life. This is great. You like that one? <laughs> It's hard to imagine this now, but this pandemic will come to an end and life will go on. And I have, I have just every intention of working towards the goal you just described. Wow. Yeah, I think that's amazing that you think that that's like achievable. A lot of people don't think that they'll like ever attain it. I don't know why. No, I agree. And I think this time, this period of time that we're in now, that can do that to you. But yeah, to come totally. out maybe with a, a bit of optimism, which is so cringy, I know, to say, but... <laughs> Just some hope, do you know what I mean? Well, thanks for being so open with me with this stuff. Um, not everyone is. No, it was all pretty insightful, I have to admit. I learned a lot about you. Good stuff, I hope. Oh, exclusively. Okay, good. <laughs> you, um, you articulate your emotions well. well that's cool, that's good, to, that's good to know. Okay, I'm not allowing this whole date to be about me. What? It hasn't. Okay, listen, what we're doing now is we're going to switch roles. You want to do a reading on me? Yep. <laughs> and we're just going to see what we come up with, and you can laugh at me if you want. Okay, you don't have a deck? Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> okay, how about you pick a card, and then I'll, inter <laughs> I'll interpret it for you. <laughs> well, that is not how this works, but let's see see what we get. Who knows? I might actually be really good at this. So yeah, sure. Maybe. Okay, yeah, you shuffle them. <laughs> and I'm going to do that breathing thing that you do that. <laughs> oh no. Stefan, are you okay? Whoa. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm not okay, I'm not okay. I can I'm tell so by her pictures. <laughs> she I'm had so hot, I'm so hot. Some depression issues. Saffron? Uh, <laughs> she just got possessed. Saffron, is there any. Is it. Saffron. <laughs> so, I was just fucking with you. Get weird. <laughs> oh, shit. <sighs> Calling help. Come on, come on, onto the phone. Nine, nine, nine. Hello, emergency service operator. Which service do you require? Hello, hello. Hi. Um, I need a, a, a ambulance service, please. I'll connect you now. Thank you. Ambulance service. What's the address of the emergency? I, I, uh, I, I don't know the address because I was on a video call to them. So Tell me th exactly what has happened. Okay, so um, I was on a... I was on a video call to this person, to a woman. Uh, her name is Saffron, and then all of a sudden she just started breathing heavily and hyperventilating and saying that she wasn't okay and she was shaking. No, it sounds and... like a panic attack. 
Can you okay. call Saffron back? Well, no, I, I can't because I've, I've closed the lobby, so now I can't... Sorry. What lobby? So, oh, my God. So we were on a, on a dating app, so... Oh, this is frustrating to explain. We're on a dating app, and then... So I don't know where she lives. We don't have any of the information. And now, because I've cancelled the I will call. contact the app's incident centre and trace her account. OK. Her name is Saffron, okay. and she's in the London area. Yeah, 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 Saffron, Saffron, that's it. Yes, 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 Probably yes. Only yes, one yes, of yes. those. And she was on a video call with you. Your name is? But, uh, Vinny, Vinny. Thank you for your call, Vinny. Fuck, man. Hey, is she all right? Yeah, I uh, I got a message from her on the app, and she she said the ambulance arrived at hers, but she'd recovered from the panic attack by then. Okay. Yeah, then she just apologised to me loads. Ah, oh, man, poor girl, man. She must be so embarrassed. Ah, oh, Callum, maybe I should have stayed on the call instead of running. Ah, uh, don't do that, man. Don't do that. You did good, man. You did really good, bro. Well done, man. <sighs> okay. It's just so hard to tell. I just didn't know what to do in that situation. Should I... It's cool, man. Stop it, man. Damn it. Look, obviously, this is something you have to consider whether you can handle or not. Of course. Um, I have to be all in. It wouldn't be fair to either of us otherwise. Mm. So, how was the date going before that? I have to say that it was going great. Hey. Um, she's into some really different stuff, but I, Callum, I just, I, I love it. And I think that I'll really broaden my horizons with her. Wow. <laughs> I never thought that I would hear those words coming out in your mouth, bro. That's big. Neither did I, but mm. I had a lot to learn from her, and hopefully she had something to learn from me, but... I don't know what she's going to learn from you, but, yeah. 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 Man, that's good, man. <laughs> I think you could actually learn a lot from me, and, uh, you know... Oh, is it? <laughs> <sighs> All right, man. Hey, I'm hitting the sack, man. <laughs> you got some things to do tomorrow, and I hope that goes well for you. Yeah, I back myself. Hmm. So what do you need me for? Everything else. <laughs> Everything else in my life yes. I need. That's right. That's right. <laughs> nah, as always, I appreciate you, man. Love, man. Take care, man. Yeah, I shall. Right. Peace. Bye-bye. If you want my hot take, she staged the panic attack and just keeps that in her pocket because she was he was getting too close to insulting the tarot card reading because he was starting to like do the breathing thing and it kind of almost seemed insulting and that may have triggered it but I think it was an, a, a way of changing the subject yo what are you doing just getting some vitamin D. There's a lovely bit of sunlight coming through my window there. Ah, uh, looks like lockdown has broken you. Hey, hey, listen, listen. I know that you're just calling me to talk about your digital dating adventures, yeah? Talking about lockdown's broken me. Okay, listen, listen, listen. So I've got my second date with Paige tonight, but like, she hasn't messaged me or anything since we last spoke. So? I mean, what? Look, some women just don't at the start, yeah? Just don't let it get to you. See, women like Paige, they have plenty of options. So the last thing that she needs is you freaking out. That's a surefire way to get yourself hired. Yeah, it makes sense. It does make sense. Look, go well, lad, yeah? As much as it pains me to see you getting on with her, I'd be honoured to call her my sister-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> OK, listen, just take your time in it. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go. She's not texting me back. She's not texting me back. <laughs> get out of here, man. I'm done with you, I'm done with you. Paige. So we're going to try to just right. breeze through this like one, your, but we'll probably uh, end up doing well by accident. Lounge slash gym wear. <laughs> Thank you, you're a fast learner. <laughs> yeah, I, um, I, uh, I also checked out your social media. Did you? You stalked me. No, 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 no. it's not stalking if social media is a part of your job. So. Okay, yeah, I get you. I mean, I'm glad that you liked it, uh, yeah? Because it's, it's gonna look like that for a while. What, are you taking a break or something? No, it's just like, I'm, I'm literally struggling for content right now. Like, I don't really know what to post. Oh, no, I'm, I'm sure you'll be fine. I mean, look, you had no problem coming up with a good game for us to play tonight. Did you like that? Yeah. <laughs> I love this game. I feel like you find out the weirdest, just 
craziest stuff about people. No, I'm quite excited to see what truths come out. So, should we get playing? Mm, me too. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. All right, cool. Okay. All right. All right. Should I take it away? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah no, cool, you cool, do. Cool. You go first. All right. Okay. Would you rather have hands for feet or feet for hands? Okay. No, no, no. Ladies first. You go. No, 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 no. I want to hear what you have to say. All right, cool. I'm trying to think of all the things that you'd have like that would be difficult to do. Let's just quick fire around, like. Okay. Um, I'm gonna say purely for practicality, I'd rather have hands for feet. That has to be the only option. Oh my gosh, why? Well, hands have so much more flexibility. So imagine all of the things you could, like all the climbing you could do, you like a, like a monkey. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, and retraining your feet would be way harder, I think. Yeah, that's fair enough. But I have to say, for me, it's the exact opposite. You would rather have feet for hands than hands for feet. I prefer the way that my feet look, and I have done the odd foot modelling shoot too. Of course you have. I won't lie. <laughs> well, listen, I'm, I just saw your hands there, and they don't look that bad to me, so I think that you'll be all right either way, to be honest. Oh, that's nice, but honestly, I get daily, and I mean daily, DMs requesting pictures of my feet. You see... I just the yeah. internet, man. It's just the internet <laughs> blowing my mind. Yeah. Cool. Should we do the next one? Yeah, let's do it. You take it away. Um. Okay. Okay, that's good. Um. Okay, so would you rather have a golden voice or a silver tongue? What? What does silver tongue mean again? I know that a golden voice is that you have a great singing voice, but what? Yeah, 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 yeah. But silver tongue it means that you've got the best chat. Okay. Yeah. All right. You thank be able you. To sing or be able to talk to girls. I mean, it would help even right now. So I'm just thinking. What's... <laughs> <laughs> You're right there, honey. <laughs> I'm gonna go with golden voice because I think that singers seem to have a really good time and they seem to right. make a decent living as well. So. I mean, they only really make a decent living if they're really successful. Um, That's true. Personally, I've always wished that I could sing. Like, that would be sick. Yeah. Also, I've already got the silver tongue. Oh, God, don't flatter yourself. I, I do think, carrying on from what you were saying, like, being able to make music any place, any time. That's amazing. Yeah. I mean, I think that, personally, I do pretty well as a busker. I mean... You know, I've already got the aesthetic down, so. Mm, mm, you don't really look like a busker. See, that's just because I clean up well, so. Okay, that far. <laughs> Next question. All right, Next. cool. All right, okay, I'll click it. Okay, um, ooh, this is a good one. Would you rather hear terrible dirty talk during sex or have sex in complete silence? Oh, wow. Um, oh. I literally cannot wait to hear what you're going to say. Are we getting into this territory? Only because of the game. Okay, any form of dirty talk is definitely better than just complete silence. I can't think of anything weirder. No, it's definitely not. Bad dirty talk, listen to me, is the biggest turn off. Like, I actually don't understand why guys think it's okay to talk during intimacy. What do you mean? What do, what do you mean? You know when it's like kissing? and then chat, and then you get to grinding, but then he brings it back to the chat. And then sex, but then chat. It's like, why don't you just enjoy the feeling? No, no, I didn't realize that you were into some sort of weird robotic library sex. Uh, excuse me, it's not weird and it's not robotic. And actually the only sound that needs to be heard is moaning. No, but this is the, the, the either or is complete silence. So there's gonna be no sound. Yeah, I know, and I'm sticking by my answer. And I'm moving on to the next one. Um, Thank you, you're the weirdo. Okay, cool, I got the next one. Would you rather only have sex with the first or last person that you did it with? Okay. First or last person, only then. I think that means forever. That is some bad question for me. That's a horrible question. My options are dire. Shall I go first? Please, please do. I'd say that my my last experience was pretty fun. So yeah, I think I'll go with that. What about you? Oh, um, I'll probably go with my first. Interesting, it must have been good. Um, 
it actually was really shocking. Uh, oh, but okay. My last um, was a, a, a non-starter, so yeah. All right. Mm. You good? Yeah. Should we move on? Yeah, let's move on. Next. Go on, I'll click it. Um, okay, would you rather have a baby tomorrow or not have one for another 15 years? Wow. What would you choose? Baby tomorrow, like baby in your arms tomorrow and that's it, you have to look mm. after that baby or just 15 years, no baby? Which one would you choose? I can comfortably say that I'm nowhere near ready for fatherhood. Yeah, 15 years might be too long, but I think it's definitely the lesser of two evils, to be honest. <laughs> evils. Yeah. Is that what you see it as, is it? Well, not, no, I don't, it's not that I see having a child as evil, it's just more, just the saying that- You just said evils, lesser of, the two, so. Vinny, um, I'm gonna be real with you. Uh, I don't think I'm the girl for you. Uh, thank you for these past two dates, but um, I'm gonna go now, all right? Have a good one. Well, okay, but did I say something wrong? No, 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 you didn't. You actually didn't. It's, it's me, all right? Bye. Okay. Uh... That didn't go well. But anyways, on to the next. We're trying to get with Saffron. It's definitely not her, bro. Why do you sound so sure? Because she's Paige Lee, and you're you. Yeah, but I didn't do anything wrong. Uh, look, man, look. It's better that she told you now rather than leading you on and you catching feelings, man. Do you reckon that... Do you think she might change her mind, or do you think that this is just the end for uh, me? No. You know what? Stranger things have happened, so who knows? It's a, it just came out of nowhere. It was just so out of the blue, and I thought... Oh, mm. that's why it just stunned me, but what can you do? If, if she's not feeling it or, or me, then, you know, I guess that's it. I guess so, bro. Okay, listen, it's been an eventful day, so I think I'm going to head out. All right, then, man. Hey, bro, get some good rest. Relax, ladies, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so jealous. We'll get you out there. We'll get you, we will get you out there, I promise you. Please, right. please. Who knows? These wonderful girls that I'm meeting, they may have friends, so... May, yeah, hopefully, yeah, yeah. That's where you're coming. And get some wingman game going on, please. Ah, shall. Wicked. All right, I'm going to dash. Digital dash, baby. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. What a really? game that was. All right, Saffron, we got to make this quick. It is the big dinner tonight, boy. What's on the menu? Uh, I'm gonna try and cook a vegan. <laughs> I'm not gonna hear you puffing already. A vegan cauliflower curry. You and your rabbit food, bro. Listen, it's not too late to see the light, all right? You can change. You can, oh, you can mate, join please, our side. don't even, don't even. Come and join the good side. Happy with a bit of bacon, mate. I love a bit of bacon. So, obviously. The third date is something. No, no, it's nothing. Bro, if you are on an in-person date, the third date, you'd be having to escalate. Yeah, but the thing is, we're not on an in-person date and therefore I don't have to escalate. There has got to be some way to do it, bro. Okay, uh, listen, I'm just gonna see how it goes. I'm gonna read her vibe and I think that's what I got right now. <laughs> Unconventional, good luck. Okay, listen, but we'll... I'm going to go, but we'll debrief later, yeah? Ah, uh, yeah, give us a bell, but, um... If I don't pick up, I'll call again later, yeah? <laughs> Dude, why are you laughing? What's going on? What's happened? <laughs> hey, listen, your boy has only gone and got himself a little date tonight. No, you haven't. No, you haven't. Are you serious? With who? When? Whoa, 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 whoa. Chill, bro. You know I like to keep those things low-key. Okay, all right, okay, okay. I 
I won't mention another word about it, but you're going to tell me about it after, right? Of course, my bro. Of course. Okay, cool. All right, listen, all the best. Smash it, uh, and we'll debrief when you get a chance. All right, cool. All right, cool, man. I'll catch you in a bit, Carl. Peace. Bye-bye. Whoa! You look comfortable sitting on the chair for once. I know, it's shocking that I even own any. <laughs> oh, go on, what are you eating? Mmm. A lentil ragu. <sighs> Is it nice? It's so good. What's on your plate? Ooh, I have just put together a really nice cauliflower curry. <gasps> and it's vegan. One of my favourites. That looks so good. Yeah, it's really, really nice. Bit of spice on top. Chili flakes. Oh, love it. Oh, it looks so good. <gasps> Can I try some? <laughs> Thank you. You got it. <laughs> Thank you for breaking the ice. Listen, I learned from the best. <laughs> um, I guess we should address the very embarrassing elephant in the room. Listen, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. Minnie, you saw me having a panic attack and we barely know each other. Seriously, don't stress about it for a second, all right? I'm just happy I could help. While we're on the topic, is there anything you want to know about them or, or me? We don't have to talk about it if you don't want to, okay? No, I, I think it's an important part of my life that I want you to know about. How long have you had them? Um, they started in my mid-teens. Uh, I was... I don't really know how they started, but like I was always very self-conscious and highly strong and I never really addressed it. And then it just sort of mutated and got worse. Shit, that sounds tough. And how old were you when you had your first one? I was 14, um, oh, but it happened in private. So I didn't really know if it was like real or a waking nightmare. Yeah, and then it happened in public um, in front of my friends. That was definitely real. <laughs> and I mean, were they supportive? To my face at first, and then they just started phasing out of my life very quickly. Um, but yeah, then I just changed my outlook completely, changed my lifestyle, and I'm so much better for it. <laughs> okay, uh, that's amazing then. You obviously have a lot of self-understanding. That's great. <laughs> Shut up, you. I'd say you're... What's the word? I have no idea what you're going to say right now. No, no, no. <laughs> I promise you it's a good one. An empath. An empath. That's what you uh, are. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say I'm pretty good at walking in other people's shoes. Um, and I, like, feed off other people's energy quite well, I'd say. For sure. And my love language is quality time, so... So what do you, what's love language? <laughs> You won't care about this. No, 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 I will. I want to hear it. Tell me. There are five ways that we um, express and experience love, and everyone favors one. The love languages. Which are? So, words of affirmation, which is like verbal expressions that build you up and articulate affection. Okay, next. Two is acts of service, so actions and gestures that you're really into, so you're into like thought and like effort mainly. Okay, of course. Receiving gifts, so just presents of any form that make you feel loved. And five, no, four is quality time. That's you, for sure. Pretty self-explanatory. It just means that you like to give and receive undivided attention without any distractions. Okay. And uh, what's the final one? Oh, uh, uh, physical touch. So, just okay. constant contact. So, the most basic language of all. <laughs> Possibly. Which one do you think you favour? So, which ones have we got? We've got words of affirmation. We've got acts of service. Uh, receiving gifts. We've got you, quality time. And physical touch. Ooh. Oh, yeah, same as you, quality time. Because if you're really into someone, you, you want to spend all of your time with them. Okay, but how undivided is your attention, though? Okay, when you say how undivided, <laughs> what do you mean by... Like, could you have your phone turned off all day? Okay, so totally off. No communication with the outside world, no texting, mm -mm, like, no internet. 
just away. Left at home. Left at home. Oh, in a heartbeat. Easy. Amazing. Yes. Agreed. You're the same, yeah? Yes. Yeah, I, don't, I, I, I sometimes, I'm like, why would you want to look at your phone if you're with someone who you're, you're enjoying their company? Exactly. God, I always get really deep with you. <laughs> hey, you bring it out with me. Plus, I've actually always been so bad at small talk. <laughs> so, uh, when this is all over... <sighs> you're wondering where we're going to go on our first date. Well, we'll have our first kiss. <laughs> I wasn't, actually. Um, I have a confession. Oh, great. I knew it. What? Okay, nothing. That was a really bad joke. Uh, but what, what's up? <sighs> I'm planning on going traveling for a year. So, yeah. Um, I was supposed to be circumnavigating, like, right now. And then, obviously, a pandemic happened. So... That's, uh, that's, that's great. That's Yeah. I'm, I guess there's nothing better for the soul than traveling, so do it. Yeah, but let's say we developed further, and we were in a relationship, and then I just opted and left to go traveling for a year. What, what do you think you would do? Uh, like, how would you react to that? Sorry, that's a really big question to ask you. I know, I know. <gasps> I think I would come with you. What about your life, your career, friends, family? I'm stable enough right now to put everything on hold if there's a person I really like and... Seriously? I am an all-in kind of guy. Okay, that is like a million brownie points. <sighs> wow. <laughs> Phew. Gosh, I didn't know what you were going to say. I didn't know if it was going to be really <laughs> bad or you wouldn't want me to intrude, but... Yeah, I, I, you know. No, I love that. I love that. So you wanted to get this traveling thing on the table, yeah? Yeah, I thought it was for the best. I don't know. It seems a bit like self-sabotage. Well, dating me is complicated enough as it is. Uh, oh, that is if you want to keep dating me. I'd rather avoid any more curveballs in future. Yeah, I like to keep seeing you. Yeah? Yeah, you're honestly one of the most unique people I've ever met, Safran. <laughs> That's so lovely. Yeah, and you've, you, I don't know, you've made me open up in a way that I feel like I've never done, so. I can eat vegan cauliflower. Um. Hey. Hola. Have you got some of that um, sleepy incense burning? Mm -mm, just the lavender on my pillow for bedtime. Nice. <laughs> I should have known you had more of those little home remedy things. Oh, you ain't seen nothing yet. So you're one of those people that needs like loads of sleep that you have. You have to have those <laughs> little things to make you go to bed. I love my sleep. Like seriously. Ah. Uh, can't get enough, especially with this lavender. When it goes, I'm like, see you in 12 hours. <laughs> 12 hours? That's a that's a long sleep. No, 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 no. Eight to 12 hours sleep. Okay, this is a quicker question. What are you like when you don't get your eight hours? I bet you're moody. She's moody, I would say. You're moody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she's a handful, major handful, but you know, it's the challenge, it's part of the game. So anyways, I'm not going to get into any relationship advice, um, but, uh, let's see, get, get some final thoughts here. So that's five dates. That's all we're going to play today. I know you want to see all the other options. Um, but we laid, we got three girls, the first three on the list in bed. And Paige is feeling it too. So I think we'll be able to get the other two if we ever do this again. Which we probably won't, <laughs> to be quite honest. We might, but we probably won't. Um, but anyways, 
we got the the top three in, and uh, that's Five Dates. It's on the Switch. I think it's the mobile app too. You should try it out. You can go on virtual dates with people and kind of just freshen up your your dating game before you actually go on a real date. Um, I wish I had this before I had gone on a real date, but either way, it worked out because right now it's almost 5.50 and that means my real girlfriend in real life is about to get off work and I'm going to go pick her up and then we're going to have dinner and I might use some of these tactics that we just learned here. Like I might make some vegan cauliflower risotto or whatever. I don't know what he made there, but anyways... I'm going to sign off. Thanks for tuning in. This has been a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, we're just going through the credits on uh, the third successful date. Um, we'll probably get into the other ones. There's so much, so many freaking uh, things. There's so many things, so many options and outcomes in this game that I haven't even seen half of this yet. And once you've seen them, I think you can skip them with the R trigger if you're playing this. But it won't let you skip stuff you haven't seen. So it kind of gets you right into what you've seen and not seen. But the moral of this game, the story we learned here about dating, is that you don't be true to yourself. Just make up stuff. Select the options that sounds like it's going to get you further in the date. So... If they say they're vegan, say you're vegan. You don't even need to be vegan. That's basically what this guy just did. Uh, you know, he's just, just go with the flow. Pick answers that seem like, oh, she's a businesswoman. I'm into finance. I mean, it's going to come and bite you in the butt, though, when it comes down to actually having to uh, not do what you actually like to do. So the real moral of the story is just be true to yourself. Be yourself and you know look for qualities that you like in other people and, and don't settle or change how you are because you'll end up like Vinny here uh, just virtually laying in bed with people on his phone so don't do that but anyways it's been fun this is Cartridge Cave we're signing off um, I hope you enjoyed the stream today it's a pretty weird one we're not opposed to ever doing any any game like i like retro games i like new games i like cool games i like popular games I like triple a titles i also like shovelware like five dates i like random indie games i like games that use video like why that's insane that's really ridiculous there's some others like night trap and and some other older games that use videos like this but not nearly as well and it's also kind of remi uh, reminds me of the Black Mirror uh, season where it was just like a choose your own adventure thing. Which that would be interesting to try to do if that still exists. But it probably copywritten and probably get in trouble for that. But anyways, uh, thanks for tuning in. It's been fun. This is uh, Cartridge Cave signing out. We were playing Five Dates. You should check it out.